the nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss. And they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the president of Armstech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike. To stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then we'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High-tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment, OSP? Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Oh, that's interesting time. It's just come over the white screen. Hello, Lexi. Hello, Moldy. Hello, Katagan. How's it going? I have never played a single Metal Gear Solid game ever. This is going to be my first. From what I hear, it's the best. I don't know if anyone disagrees with that. I, I, uh, The general opinion seems to be that this is the best Metal Gear Solid ever. And that is what I'm going to stop. Hello Kev, cheers for popping in anyway man. We are going to be going on normal. I'm not going on hard, Jesus. No, I don't want to go on easy. But yeah, so forgive me, because <laughs> I am a, I am a self-confessed I, I am self-confessed garbage at stealth games, but I'm sure I'll be I'm sure I'll be fine. I mean, I can get into the um, I can get into Hyrule Castle in Ocarina of Time, so if I can do that, this should be an easy route. This and three are the best. Let me know, by the way, if the year sounds. Or, uh, Emma said the sounds are good so far. Um, yeah, let me know if, if they're kind of. You know, every, every game's a completely different volume, and sometimes you get, like, weirdly loud bits, really quiet bits. One thing I know about this game, um, and I don't know much, is that the music's amazing. All of the bits of music that I've heard, anyway. Are amazing. So, you want to be able to hear it, but you also want to be able to hear me. This is Snake, Colonel. Can you hear <laughs> Hello, me? Al. Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface, but make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is one four zero point eight five. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. 
The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. It's a sneaky way of just uh, explaining why it doesn't kind of trigger everyone else's. Right, okay, I need to actually hold oh, some uh, cheeky little rations down there. I know what rations are. Oh, Jesus, don't drown. <laughs> that first death. I haven't even stepped anywhere yet. How's it going, Oogie? So yeah, I need to figure out the controls. So I do know you can grab and punch. Okay, that's first person view. Crouch. Oh, bloody hell. I'm busy here, guys. Oh, I've missed the call. Oh, damn. It's not good, is it? <laughs> No good start. Right. Oh, watch the puddles. So I have got to get over. Oh, hello. I mean, you get a nice little. S ah! <laughs> I'll call it. Oh, screw it. Let's just run. Oh, they're calling me. God damn it. I was, uh, over, I got overexcited. Oh, okay. I think I just saw a little... Oh, hello. Another cheeky little ration. What? Am I not allowed? I'm, f I'm full on rations. Two. Man. They're not letting you stock up on the health. Okay, it's not here yet. Just gotta wait. Patiently. That dude's name is so literally so Toyota. I oh, really? <laughs> I must have missed that. Yeah. Thanks, Al. Where's the goddamn elevator? But yeah. Is that... Is, do you know the general guy who... Do, you know, the guy we were just talking to there on the code? Is he a famous actor? Because I'm, I'm... I'm certain I recognize... Here we go. Certain I recognise his voice. I can't remember. He's, he's, I'm sure he's been in like a bunch of poor lighting. Oh! Guys! I was chilling. No! <laughs> what were they doing looking behind? Oh man. Well, okay, I'm gonna run away. I, I just I assumed that. I assumed that they would not. Oh! Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> what on earth? Snake! Snake! There we go. I only did this so that we could hear that sound effect. Because we all love that. I can, I, I stunned. I, can, I thought I was in a nice little hiding place there. I, so I, I just wasn't even like... I just... I, I'm not having that. That doesn't even count as a death. I just literally wasn't even paying attention because I was just like, ah, oh, whatever, you know. Like, I, I, I literally thought I was basically invincible. He turned around. He was, he was looking like he was going to turn away, and then he turned back. Let's just stand and point and guns at you, and you just lay. <laughs> well, I was, I was about to back off. Hang on. There we go. He's turned his back on me. Okay, so I need to go, I guess I need to head towards the... Or maybe after a certain amount of time, he's going to tell me about the... I don't know when he's... Like, the elevator, I don't think it's going to start coming down until the guy tells me about it. Hello, Mikhail, how's it going? So I can knock these guys out, right? But I can't kill them. Like, if I if I grab them and punch them or whatever, that do, they don't die, right? They just get, kind of get knocked out for a second. Yeah, I have not, I have not played any Metal Gear Solid before, so, you know, obviously I don't want massive spoilers or anything, but, um, you know, a few game mechanic bits of knowledge would not hurt. 
Oh yeah, like I, I remember, like when I was, I think when this came out, I'm trying to think if I was born. So when this came out, I'd have been twelve. Um, and my older brother would have been like seventeen or something. And I remember he he got it because he had the PS One. I didn't have the PS One. Um, and I remember him proper loving it. In fact, when I tweeted that I was going to stream this, he was like <laughs> saying how amazing it was. Right, slowly. Oh Jesus, the street. Oh God. Oh man. Are they? Can they see me? I don't know. I think we'll clear. Absolutely bossed it. So easy. <laughs> um. Um. Well. You can, well, you can, like, if you're going to tell me about mechanics, like, mechanics of the game and stuff, that's fine. But don't be like, don't be like, you know, there's a gun behind that box, and go behind that box, and then hide here, and then go into the, you know, and then go into the truck, and then, like, I don't want to, I don't want a step-by-step walkthrough. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if you want to tell me, like, how something works, or like, because I don't know if when you punch someone, like, I don't know if you can even kill someone. Go behind them and hold square. You can choke them. But the, is that does that just like knock them out for a bit? That doesn't actually kill them, or does it kill them? Hey, hello, Morris. Congratulations tonight, Chelsea. I did not expect you to make it into the. Uh, no offense, <laughs> but I didn't expect you to be in the Champions League final. I mean, like yeah, at the start of the season, you can punch them and knock them out, or you can press square and grab them from behind. You can chop. Okay, but is either one of those actually going to kill them? Or is it just going to, like, stun them over? Punches and knock them out. That'll kill them. What, choking them will kill them? Yeah, I know about that one, Kyle. I know about the, uh... I don't know when I'm going to come across it, but I've, I, I've heard about that boss on, like... You know, that when you see, like, lists of, like, you know... Top ten most like bullshit bosses and whatever. It's they, Snake. Uh, I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. I already know about it anyway, Moldy. Don't worry. I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. Mm -hmm. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Hello, PC Gamer. Welcome to the stream. I remember playing this when it first came out. Broke my shoulder. So like six I weeks of school. Colonel. The game, but couldn't play for like two weeks. Gunship doing here? I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. I mean, this does look pretty good. I mean, it was a, a year later Shenmue came out, which you know, obviously that looks amazing. But even still, I mean, th this looks very, very good. This is like. Like, this looks better than Silent Hill, and I think this is older than Silent Hill. Yeah, the, the voice acting is really good. Like, um, it has aged like a fine wind. Um, if you're trying to choke them, and you'll end up throwing them. There are only 18 hours direction. left until their deadline. Okay. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. 
I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous solid snake. But uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a train killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your solar town radar system. He is he's, he's already set himself up as the is you, snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Right, let's get to the DARPA chief. Snake, your radar oh, isn't yet. affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Sorry. Seriously, I, Snake, we're here to I back got... you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. Oh, They're all after that, him. Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. Which is all, it's all very James Bond, by the way. That, you know, all the ladies want them. Yeah, she said there. Um, if you want to get in, uh, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Probably not. There's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. What? Gotta be careful of the pineapples. Is that some kind of like a military speak? What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. Is that like, is that official military speak? Grenades or pineapples? Here. Okay, that is, I mean, to be, I was going to say that's news to me, I'll but then I haven't been in the military, so. I'm counting on you, Snake. Yeah, so she said there, your equipment, she said it, like, basically, you know, this this won't work or whatever, because, you know, you're, you've got to be careful of your equipment or whatever, because all your equipment is made from currently existing technology as opposed to our equipment being made of technology that doesn't exist well, I don't know <laughs> that, that just seems like a really bizarre thing that you think that sounds like a really bizarre thing to say it's made of things that currently exist like, yeah That's the, you know that, they're, they're the only options available um, yeah I can't believe there isn't a like a, 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 either just a HD remake or something. Oh god, I quite fancy that box in the middle. Something tells me it's gonna be. Oh yes, like a boss. Okay, don't go that way. That was excellent. I mean, I'm not being that stealthy to be honest. I'm running, but running in the middle of the. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh! No! Okay. Yeah! Okay, I'm on the floor. Can I punch him? Yeah. See you later, buddy. See you later. Oh, he's still coming. He's coming. Get away. 
We got it. It's all under control. It was worth it for this. What did I get? Chaff grenades? It was worth it. Okay, so if I have a ration... Oh, I don't even need a ration. It's fine. Hello, Claudio. I am, I'm playing it on an emulator, Oogie. So I'm playing with, like, a kind of generic, my Steam controller, basically. Playing on an emulator. Oh. There is talk. Oh, yeah, there was talk of a remaster, I'm sure. I think Moldy might have said something about it in the Discord not long ago. Talk of, like, a, you know, just a straight-up remaster of this game. Do you know what? I am gonna I'm gonna have that Russian. Even though my health is pretty much full. Just because like I might as well. Because Right, we're past him. <gasps> oh! Whose footprints are these? Oh god. A surveillance <gasps> camera? Okay. He spotted my footprints. How do I Underneath the camera, like a boss. How stealthy is Scar? <laughs> right now, Claudio, I'm gonna go for a one. Oh, Jesus! I've, I not even see. It. That's not fair. He's behind the bloody wall. Yeah. I I got. Ah, oh, I'm not having that. Jesus, that is not. That's bang out of order. I mean, I should have been looking at my radar, shouldn't I, really? Oh, God. Despite the fact that I've gone down a dead end, it hasn't uh, <laughs> it hasn't made him question it. Now I need my other ration. I was doing good. That's generous. Kyle's generous. A four, I'll take a four. Oh, get back. Have I, have I screwed myself over here? Like, is this guy ever gonna leave the balcony? Okay, so square is grab, isn't it? Okay. Oh Jesus! Turn around, mate. Got him. Ah! Ah! Okay. That base must have some kind he of didn't stay down for long, did he? to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there somewhere. They must need a lot of power to run the base. It's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that too. You're not going to believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion with a Hind D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Snake, hurry up and get in there. That hind will be coming back soon. I'm on it. Okay, so mash, mash, the mash square. Hello, Armands, how's it going? Well, we've made some progress. We've used, I can't believe, I, I feel, ugh. <laughs> I've used my rations already. I was, you know, I was just celebrating not long ago that I had too many that I couldn't even Snake, carry more. This is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? Master. I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you, so call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Do I have to remember these, by the way? I've already been given about three different frequencies. And I was... Al has... Al has ruined it. <laughs> Only joke, it's fine. But I was just about to say, like, I can't take the credit for it now. But I was, I was when I, as soon as I heard him, I was like, "Oh my God, is that Leonardo from the Turtles?" I moved the dark machine to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. I'm about to start spraying for rats. 
First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Hello, sons. Did something happen? There's an intruder. Really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah. Say he's using stealth, too. That was stealth. Me. There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the chief. I haven't killed anyone. Couldn't if I wanted to. I tried. <laughs> Just so you know, you missed... Oh, well that's annoying. I assume I'm gonna get another chance to... How... Like, am I, am I gonna get a ch oh. If you push down in the corner... Like, basically... Will I get an opportunity to get that gun again? Really soon, or not? Quite fancy. Uh, didn't didn't know. Ah, oh, go on. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. As yeah, as Claudio said, I can't be bothered. I'll leave it. I'll be fine. I don't need. I don't need no gun. I'm a I'm a ghost in the night. I'm not going to be killing people. Like Kyle said, I'm, I'm a generous guy who, you know, I'm not a cold-blooded killer. Yeah, who needs weapons? It's not my, that's not my bag. The game view remake of this was good too. The cutscenes are, well, we were talking about that in the Discord category because um, Moldy was saying that everyone hates it apparently, except him. A phone call. Press the action button to drop down. All right, cheers, mate. Well, not yet. Yeah, started with nothing, nothing but a yeah, nothing but a pack of smokes. Yeah, actually, I know, I know. There's a few times where he says like press select, and and you know, but they, I don't know. How'd you get around it? Yeah, we need to get out the vents, otherwise we're gonna get smoked out like a rat. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. I mean, that's taking it to extreme. Use the elevator to change floors. Like, walk up the steps and you'll be on a different floor. Oh, I can't get those chaff grenades. God, your inventory size is pretty small, isn't it? Can I get in there? No, it does not seem like I can. Okay. I am going to get through this room without... I keep sticking to walls, which is annoying. Um, I'm going to get through this room without a single alarm. That's the goal. Okay. Hang on, are they just chaff grenades? Because if they're chaff grenades, I can't even carry them. But I guess we'll have to find out. What do chaff grenades do, actually, by the way? Should be, that's some quite key information, I guess. Oh no, it's a sockum. Don't know what a sockum is. But it is one. Oh, it's a gun. Semi-automatic pistol. Nice. Okay, I'll, I'll carry it around, you know. Disables electronics and cameras. Ah, okay, okay, nice. It's one of those things, is I guess it's like we've been spoiled by um, newer games, but I, I find myself wishing that I could, um, like, oh god. I find myself wishing that I could, um, I could use the right analog stick to turn, to turn the camera angle and get like a better view of what's going on in the room. But nope, I am forced to. Basically, I, I can see whatever the game wants me to see. Oh crap! 
I get I can't get on the okay, no, they've both gone the same way. It's all good. Oh, he's coming back! <laughs> I am, I'm looking at the uh I think it was Kyle who said it. I'm looking at the radar more than I'm looking at Snake. Go this way. Let's go. I don't even know where we're going. Where the hell? What am I doing? Oh, Jesus! Okay, I'm putting the gun away. Put the gun away. <laughs> no, that's too much. Uh... Yeah, the music's really, like, it's very, like, um... It's very, um... Ah, here we go. I've got to wait for it to come. Okay, that was quite quick. Um, it's just, like, perfect, like... I don't know, it's the perfect atmosphere, isn't it? It's very like, which is funny because Claudio doesn't like atmospheric, a atmospheric music. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's the very first Metal Gear Solid. Alex? It's supposed Look to be like amazing. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. This is not atmospheric? I don't know. Well, I mean, it's, it's... well, I guess what I mean is it, it suits the tone of the game, I guess is what I mean. Yeah, I put my gun away. I can't handle the stress of potentially um, accidentally shooting again. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. I mean, I'm supposed to be like this, like, Top class, like best in the world spy. I've got my boss phone and me telling me how to climb a ladder. I bet, bet James Bond doesn't get this. Ah, uh, yeah, she did mention that she can. That's how, like, she mentioned that she was like keep, keep my progress going. Well, it's funny you should say that about the, um... Once you get a silencer, enemies won't hear it. Because I accidentally shot a couple of times a minute ago, and no, I, I I was fully expecting that when I did accidentally shoot, they were all going to come running, but... I don't know, maybe I was just too far away from them or something. No one. No one came running. <laughs> get out of the fancy mindset. Snake. The DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first-person view mode. I'm looking, goddammit. Let me get on with my mission. I mean, I can't look... Okay, I can't look in first-person mode. I was going to say, I'm, I mean, I'm in a vent, dude. Oh. A lady doing sit ups. I figured that I couldn't get down because they had grids over them, but clearly that wasn't the case. <laughs> Colonel, where's the action button? That depends what controller you're playing on. Who's that? Like a ninja. You'd never know I'd never played you. this before. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information. About the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They well, could launch a nuke. Well, we're enjoying this cutscene, guys. Don't forget to leave a like. I thought 
this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay. We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the earth. It always does bomb diggity. A nuclear equipped walking battle tank. Jesus. Metal Gear. It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. So, me so Metal Gear is a big, massive if it hadn't been tank for the revolution. Revolution that can fire nuclear missiles. Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex. Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They've probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Nice one, Kyle. There, <laughs> Massively appreciate it, man. Welcome to the crew. Means you can do some cool emojis now. I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL? Yes, of course. PAL. There is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But they found out my password. Maybe you talked. Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis. One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. Ah, oh, cheers, Kyle. If they find out Baker's password... Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key. Who is this so one? where are the keys? Don't tell me. Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement. I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Okay. Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. Seems as overly complicated. The security <laughs> devices, or access card. The data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. 
What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? Huh? Dying? This is number one. This is number one, Alex. Apparently, this is the one with the shortest cutscenes of them all. Is what I've heard. So, I don't know. Take that for what <laughs> for whatever it's worth. God damn it, Naomi, the chief. What happened? I I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but a heart attack? No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. I'm on it. Well, he, deser he deserves it, Al. He uh, shouldn't have shouldn't have handed over his code to the to the guys. All right, how the hell do I get out of here? Okay, so I am looking for. Oh, hello, cheeky little ration under the bed there. I don't mind if I do. Oh! Are they about to come in? Hello? Or is that just my... Okay. I think my security... Hang on a minute. If my security card opens the door and it's his security card... What the... What? <laughs> What earth am I just so you killed the chief, you bastard. Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance, that scared look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie. You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think! Shoot! What? I don't even know what I'm doing! <laughs> he, he, I, what did, didn't even for? matter, it just came naturally don't to me. Don't talk to me like a rookie! I'm telling you, oh, shoot! Nice work. What the hell is... <laughs> what on earth is behind us? Well, I mean, I can see what's behind us. What on earth? I, 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 don't, I don't even know. I knew Kojima was a bit mad, but that's interesting. Not what I expected to see, I'll be honest. Right, now would be a good time. Take a ration and then top up my supply. Jesus, how many more? So I have to pick a direction though. Hang on. Oh, nice. Fresh ammo. Whoa! Did not see what that was. <laughs> Get him down! Get him. Oh, no! Oh, thank God for her. 
Is that the, I think that's the woman who was in the thing the cell next to me. And I am out of ammo, by the way, so if anyone else comes in, I'm screwed. Um. Yeah, I, 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 I took it that A, it was the woman, and B, that she stole his uniform. I'm not sure she had to, like, bend him over and leave him, <laughs> leave him in that position, to be fair. Um. Uh, yeah, no worries, Alex, no worries. Yeah, I'm having loads of funnies. How's it going? Oh, no, I am. Oh, thank God for that. That's the end of them. Because I am out of bullets. Thanks for the help. Where thank you. Who are you. Just a nice close-up on the ass. I mean, that's two, two we've had so far. One didn't have any clothes on. You've killed him! I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. Oh, really? Alright, I'll keep that in mind, though. Also, it's auto aim, so if you can fight like that, you can just press square to shoot. Oh, bloody hell! I wish I'd known that. Okay. Good girl. Just like that. To be fair, I think that's a pretty common theme, Catagon, in just video games in general. just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Yeah, of course they do, Molly. <laughs> Not joke. But, um, yeah, my question was, if my security, my security card there... Like, I got the security guard off the guy, um, the DARPA chief, and it got me out of that room. It, it got me out of his prison cell, and it's like, if I could get out of his prison cell, then he could get out of his prison cell. So, why didn't he? I don't know, maybe he just... <laughs> that butler. Hang on a minute. God damn it, stop punching the elevator. Um, basement two, I guess. We've, we started on one. This is basement one. Let's go to basement two. Uh, I didn't know that. It's been so long since I played this game. Oh, I've got the auto aim. Get off. No. Stop it. Right. Okay, so we have the ability to. Open. Oh! Jesus! That was a nice little trap, huh? <laughs> How was I supposed to know about that? We have the ability to open doors that have a one on them. Also, we are looking for walls that maybe they've kind of concreted over, but look, but they've concreted over them, but they haven't painted them, so they look different from all the other walls. Oh, hello. Beautiful. Some ammo. Can I? I I'm scared to have this equipped. I really am because I. I, I for fear of... Okay, I can't get in. Oh, hey! Some more bullets. Beautiful. Equip the card. It's... These aren't level one doors, though, are they? Yeah, yeah. These have got, like, five on them. Oh, okay. That one didn't. Grenades. Beautiful. Cheers, Catagon. I didn't realise I had to actually um, equip it. Oh, almost that. Is that? Is that? It's a bit different. Maybe it's not different enough. Cheers, Andor. Um. Oh, hello. Oh, look at this. C4. It's a nice one for saying, yeah. I, cause they were telling me when he gave me the card, he was going on about how, you know, it's linked to the salt in your body. And, you know. 
automatic and whatever. I thought it just, you know, it just happened. I guess I'm going... Is it coming or what? Okay, it is. Um, <laughs> Mr. Impatient. Um, yeah, I guess we're going back to the first floor then and, and maybe we now we can go through some doors that we never we weren't able to last night. Go in Zelda now? Let's place bombs in him, of Well, I've got the C4, Claudio. Hi! Oh, some more bullets. Very nice. So, there is a door off to the top right. I don't know if it's, like, a level one door, but we'll soon find out. It's clear. Let's go. See, look at that. I've got this. You know, I was a bit... A bit rusty at first. Oh, I say rusty. Rusty would suggest that I had some knowledge and then remembered it. I didn't have it in the first place. Get out. Soccer. Oh, suppressor. So, do I have to put that on myself, or is that... It, like, is my suppressor automatically equipped now, or... Look at this, I'm packing. I've got chaffs, I've got grenades, I've got C4, I've got a silenced sockum. I've got more rations than I can carry. Poor sleeping dude. Well, you know, if you're gonna sleep on the job, it's gonna cost you. Hmm. Equip it with the L2 section. Ah, okay. Well, I'll leave it for now, then. I'll use it if I kind of need to. Um, for now, I will keep my security card equipped, because I might need that. I actually don't know where the hell I'm going. I think I've... Oh, no, there were other doors up here, weren't there? I remember now. Just let the camera go out the way. And go, go, go. Yeah, there were other doors up here that I previously couldn't get to, so... Or couldn't go in. Hopefully now I can. Scary, the, the cardboard box, A. Eh? Oh, that is, that is one thing I remember from... I, like, I've seen my brother play, like, tiny snippets of this. And I kind of basically remember... 1% of it. But one thing I do remember is him, like, you could get in, like, you, can, you know, you could, like, climb inside a cardboard box and just hide. Like, like the enemies wouldn't be suspicious of a, a, a random cardboard box just in the middle of a corridor for no reason. It's not, <laughs> not in the least bit suspicious. Don't get too comfortable with the Soliton radar. This is the only Metal Gear today. But this is the only... Oh, damn it. No! 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 Crap. That's not what I wanted. Ah! Um, I assume this is the way I've got to go. I don't know. It's the way I am going. I don't know. What? Is, is this the only, the, the only game with a radar at all? Okay, hang on. Hang on, there's a, is that a cheeky little ration there? Oh, it is, but I've, I'm full. I reckon they must have left me alone, alone by now. Um, two has it also. That's garbage. Surely that's like a that's a that's a pretty like integral part of the game, isn't it? That's like I don't know. That's like that seems like a pretty core mechanic. I'm on my way. Do you know what I mean? Like, that seems like a pretty big... That's almost like Breath of the Wild removing dungeons. Like... It feels like, you know, the, the whole radar... And, you know, I suppose... You could argue that, you know... Real spies don't get the luxury of... <laughs> oh, crap. Ah! Man! Oh, crap. Is there any sort of auto-save? 
Oh no. No, tell me there's an autosave of some sort. We're gonna find out. Okay, no, I've, I've got my card. That was, I, I had, because a lot of old games don't have autosaves at all. It's just like, you know, it's a pretty modern feature. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm playing on, the, uh, on an emulator. Um, but yeah, it's the OG um, PS1 version, because I know there's it's on the GameCube as well. I can't believe, I was saying this in the Discord the other day, I can't believe that there aren't more... Um, there, are, there aren't more, like, remakes of this. How is there not, like, a HD remaster of this on the PS4 or whatever? It just seems crazy. Like, it's so iconic, so popular. How have they not thought? I mean, even if they literally just do a Nintendo and just port it and just go, ah, whatever. We'll just put a, just put a basic port out. I'm sure people would be happy with that. I mean, they wouldn't. They wouldn't be able to charge sixty dollars. Nintendo would. <laughs> Nintendo would be able to port this as is and charge sixty dollars. I don't think Sony could get away with that or K K Konami or whatever. But um, oh, hang on, there it is. Um, yeah. So I don't think they could get away with charging sixty. But I reckon they could get away with charging. I don't know. Twenty-five, thirty. Kojima left Konami, so that does that. Konami hates money. <laughs> okay, so we've got these holes. Okay, so... Am I looking for... The wall that's... The, the wall that's kind of been redone? Supposed to be down here. I know that much. Exactly. Moldy will pay thirty dollars for it. Loads of people have paid thirty dollars. You know, it, it's like I'd pay thirty dollars for Ocarina of Time or whatever. Just a, a straight up support. You know, it's like don't forget about first person view. Oh, look at that! <laughs> now I've got it to first person view. That wall looks very, very different. And sounds a little bit hollow. And is that why they've given us C4? Uh, square to set, circle to detonate. Okay. I assume I should get away. Boom. Yeah, first person view helped with that a lot. Oh, I'm being jammed. Ace was saying, oh, you know, don't get used to the radar. Well, I can't even get used to the radar in this one. I'm starting to wonder if maybe I should have, uh, if I should save with Mei Ling. Cheers, Katagan. I don't, I don't feel like I am, <laughs> but I will, I'll take the compliment. Oh, here we go. God damn it, hang on. The, uh... Man! The camera angle is playing with my mind. Right, it's this one. Get the C4 out. One. Two. This is a very strange... Why do you even wonder about it? Safe! <laughs> Fine! Right, let's get Mei Ling on. There she is. Hello? Snake, you can't I've got use a little thing, me and Mei Ling. There's some kind of electronic jamming coming from there. I wonder what it is. Anyway, be careful. Armory South. God, are we an hour in? That is crazy. I've been playing the game for an hour. That has flown by. I mean, to be fair, by this point, some of you guys would probably be like, at the end of game boss, an hour in. 
I'm just like going through the first corridors. Okay, so there are two two opportunities to blow this place up. We'll just do one at a time. Maybe one's got some goodies in and one's like the way to progress. Oh, well, screw, we're screwed down. Is that Baker? Am I too late? Strapped up. Looks like he's, he's strapped up in the sea floor around. You're the tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry, I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it. C4. What? I haven't skipped any cutscenes. Oh, Moly right. skips the cutscenes. Touch that wire, and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. And you, Special Operations Foxhound. So Revolver he used to be a micro. Onslaught. Or I used to be in his crew. Or we, we both used to be in the same crew. You, solid snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt's single action army. Whatever, Six Trevor. Bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. Hello, Luca. It is. It's good. I'm, I've enjoyed it so far. I've never played it before. Right. Oh, okay, this is. Okay, so. Where is. Ah! Okay, well, it would help if I got my gun out. Moldy said it's auto. It. Oh, come on! I love to reload during a battle. Love to reload during a battle. Okay, what the hell is he? There he is. Yeah, Moldy said it's. Um, oh, I can see his health bar. Oh, nice! Okay, that, that, that's. Yeah. Um. Ah, we've got this. This is easy. But the, I mean, if I didn't have auto aim, be a whole other beast. These bullets are bouncing off the walls. Why have I? I got. Have I got? Can I reload? At, at will. I do want to settle it. Yeah, I love this music. I'm back here, you. Where the bloody hell's he gone? So I don't want to shoot. Obviously, I don't want to shoot around the C4. Have it. Of what? Okay, I've, I've got a. Um... I don't reload. But to you, it'll be the smell of your own death. Why am I not reloading? I've got no. Uh, is it. I've got no ammo. God damn it, I haven't. Okay, alright, fine. I'm wasting bullets here, because I'm not realising that, well, I have now, that, um... Yeah, what a moaner, Claudio. He's only strapped up to C4. He's probably been, like, tortured. <laughs> Stop whinging, Baker. Man! Oh, I'm going to run out of ammo here, and then I don't even know what the hell I'm going to do. Hopefully, some is just gonna like magically drop out the sky. Tap our key. Hey! Wait, right, okay, let's have a lovely little ration. I've got no ammo. I have got no ammo. Oh, there's some ammo. Beautiful. I don't know if that did drop out the sky or <laughs> it was just always there and I didn't see it. We've got this. Come on, boy. Bloody hell, he's a cheeky one, isn't he? Why has Baker got a health bar, by the way? Is that in case I accidentally shoot him, or he does? Yeah, they don't invite him for a cigarette. <laughs> 
Come on, revolver. Where the bloody hell have you gone? <laughs> Keep it down, Baker! Jesus, this is a masterclass in how not to kill this boss quickly. Get out! You're First time. Good. No death run. From the man with the same it's code not no death run. I've already died. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand! What the hell? I do have a name. That, that exoskeleton. Cyborg Ninja? I don't know if you're avoiding saying his name or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Or if that's actually his name. In this world. It's totally believable that his name might be Cyborg Ninja. Can you? Talk? Oh, really? I'll take that out. I'll take you? the win. I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. No spoilers at all, I please. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <laughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha, oh, you're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. You know, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. What? Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code, I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Codec. Until I was tied up here, that is. Codec? Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh, God. Oh. Sorry, I forgot. Oh, Damn! <laughs> 
Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Hmm. I didn't about this. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The Get nuclear out, age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. I the thought... amount of spent oh, nuclear God, fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. God, this would so have been mind blowing at the time. Trying to pretend like it'll go away. Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Several muff. pounds of muff. It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. That is a lot of muff in the morning. Um, I, yeah, I thought that, I, I knew that, like, gear. Oh, God. Yes, you know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes, and after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the military oversight committee. It's always Russia's fault. Or it, it was right. at this time in the... I in prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Oh, so there's Don't the disc. Play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. <coughs> uh. You know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi. You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... Oh. What? What did you do to 
to me. Oh, no. Same thing that happened to the DARPA chief. Oh, no, it can't be. Those Pentagon bastards. So, they, they actually went in, did it. What are you talking about? They, they, they are just using you for... Look, we got a lot of info there. Um, one, yeah, bleeding heart liberals. They don't even want a nuclear war. Jesus. <laughs> Hello, Kev. How's it going? What the hell? Yeah, um, a lot of info there. One is that that girl might be the colonel's daughter. Colonel, are you listening? Maybe now he's sent dead in. too. Hang on. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. It's a bear transmission. Get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. I love he's like, you know, he's quite like a kind of Jack Bauer type, which I, you know, I love. Anyone who knows me knows I absolutely love 24. Love Jack Bauer. And he almost, like Jack Bauer said, I mean, if there's like montages of them all stuck together of of Jack Bauer going, damn it! Um, the, like, um, he almost, Snake almost did it. Optic disc containing Metal Gear. Like, this is the disc he gave me. Oh, I've got a level 2 card now. Can I not? Okay, I thought I could look at the disc or something. Is that not an option? Okay. That's my cardboard box. I never go anywhere with my cardboard box. Jack Bauer is a beast. Can I loot? Can I loot him? No. Is there an ex is there an explodable? Oh. Hey, Acid Snake. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, man. Or man or woman. Thank you, Acid Snake. How's it going? I'm guessing you're a, you're a Metal Gear Solid fan. This is my first time playing any of the series, by the way. Oh, of course. Now I've got a level 2 card. There's a whole bunch of other doors that I can go through now. Right, let's rock and roll. So we're basically backtracking. Over. Oh, but now the rooms have got, now the room's got guards in. Thank you, but thank you again for the donation. Really appreciate it. Oh, what? Oh, what? Didn't see that coming. Really did not. Okay. Now let me whack on. Where's the thingy? Get out. Right, I've got a phone call. Infrared sensors. Somehow you'll have to make it past the beams. Bit late if you to tell have me now. Questions about weapons or equipment? You should ask our military analyst, Nastasha. Her frequency is one four one point five two. Seven days TV show sci-fi. What? You have been on the beer box. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Get out of here. Oh, oh, get up! What's he doing? An absolute shambles. Um. Oh my god, you've been around. Wow, well, thank you. <laughs> thank you again for the donation, Snake. I had no idea you've been. Wow, you've been around a long time. Shemu. Wow, that's amazing. I look like that's. It's such a. It kind of blows my mind when I hear stuff like that. Because. I always think that kind of everyone who, you know, I always think that everyone who's kind of 
I've been around on the channel. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. That was exactly what Al was talking about. That when you want to grab them, you might accidentally flip them. Um, yeah, I always, I, I don't know. I just, I guess I just always think anyone who's been around a long time has probably said hello and or something. Well, thank you for coming by and saying hello. And for the donation. Yeah, Shemu is amazing. What did you think of Shemu? I mean, I, like, had you played the Shemu games yourself before you watched me play them, by the way? Hello, Ping. Oh, hello, Pingu. How's it going? You must have played this, right, Pingu? I haven't. Like, I mean, it, this feels like. Because I was saying this on Twitter that everyone's got, like, a few games where. Everyone's got a few games where, like, pe whenever you say that you've never played it, people can't believe it. Like, I'm trying to think of something else. Like, um, like what's a what's a good example? I don't know. Like, maybe uh, maybe Ocarina of Time. Maybe not. Maybe not even that. Like, something more than that. Like, I don't know. Super Mario World. If someone says to you they've never played Super Mario World, people are like, what? What is this madness? Um, you know, it's like mind blowing, and the, I feel like this is kind of like that. You know, I think that's not the codec from the box. Shimmer is the most amazing of them all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm using my socken when when I can Skyrim, but you know what I mean, like um, the one for the weapon. Yeah, so I've got, I had an, oh, what, oh, I died, didn't I? God damn it, I died, so I didn't get that gun. Oh, that's super annoying. Okay, I might, I might not, I'm going to go back and get that, you know. Um, there was, there was a nice little bit of loot in that room, and I got it, and then I died. Oh my god, you have not played Super Mario World. That's what people would say, Alex. <laughs> but no. Um, but honestly, like it's it is it's like this is one of these like super iconic games that kind of everyone is supposed to have played, and I don't know. I just I, like just I guess different times and different like it just it just it's down to kind of whatever console you happen to have at the time or whatever. And I just didn't have a PS One back then. Okay, so I'm gonna. Can I? Can I do this? Okay, boom. Now that I actually know what to expect before I come in, I can get away with it. Ah, uh, hello, Connor. How's it going? Yeah, I, I, I'm on a bit of like, I'm on a bit of a rush of like really old classic nostalgia games at the moment like i mean this is obviously isn't massively nostalgic for me i've never played it before um but come on come on but games like that um oh did that that was clinical in out silent grab the guns mind blown to me that you totally skipped this game I, well, uh, only because I didn't, I didn't have a con, I didn't have the PS One, so, <laughs> so like, I mean, I don't know. It's like, I don't know. It's it's as crazy as, I don't know, someone who didn't have a Dreamcast skipping Shenmue or whatever. Um, I just didn't have the, I didn't have the console. Um, but yeah. Um, and this is just one, this is one of these like super iconic games that, you know, it's like you should have played. And in a couple of, you know, in a week's time, I'll be able to say that I have played it. I've got to say, I, I really like it. Like, and as stealth games go, it's not that harsh. Do you know what I mean? Like. Some stealth games, I think, are like, they're just, they're, they're mean. They're like, um, you can double tap elevators to make them come quickly. Oh, wow. Okay. That, like, like, that works in real life. Just 
just bang on the elevator. That'll make it come. Um, cheers to the tip. Stop sticking to the wall, man. Um, have you ever played Silent Hill? No, like I, I was gonna play it one time. Um, oh no! I was gonna play it one time because of um, it, for like a for like a Halloween thing on the channel, and then oh, that's not the door. Flip and go. See you later, buddy. Um, yeah, I was gonna play it one time, one like Halloween, and then I didn't. So no, <laughs> it's the answer. Oh, hello, this is a new room. Beautiful. Okay, can't get that rush in, but I am a bit injured. So I think I'm just gonna... Top it up, pick it up. Mine detector? Sounds like it would be useful. I don't actually... Can I interact with stuff? Like... It's hard to know what I can interact with or not. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm going around just kind of pressing circle on stuff, because I don't know if I can re interact with it or not. The alert starts at 60. Oh, does it? <laughs> really? Is that Kojima having fun again? Okay, I'm not going to go back outside yet, because there's a guy waiting outside there. It does look like there's a red dot on the radar. There's a red dot right here on the radar, which I assume means I can touch it. Oh, I'm under the desk. Good find. What was a good find? Yeah. If you're on a nostalgia trip, then Silent Hill could be another contender. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. That's another one of those ones that's kind of, um, you know, like, like, the way I think of it is kind of if they were doing, I'm going to, I'm going to phone around and I'm going to save it, actually. Like, the way I think of it is if they were doing, like, a PS1 classic, what, is it, what games would be on it? This would definitely be on it. Like Tomb Raider, the first Tomb Raider. Well, well, well I say. Listen to what Lord the, oh. T said. He who knows that enough is enough will always have enough. Just because you see an item Wise doesn't words. mean that you always have to get it. If you don't really need it, think twice before you stick your neck out. It might not be worth it. Wise words, Mei Ling. Wise words. Hmm. One four one five two. All right, I'm on it. Um. Oh, nice one, Acid. Nice one. Yeah, so, I like, I don't want story spoilers and, like, step-by-step walkthroughs and whatever, but stuff like that, like, in-game mechanics that I would n have no idea about, that's good. Oh, the mine detector. Okay, cool. First, the DARPA chief, and then President I'm just doing the rounds. Die of a heart attack? Yeah, it smells pretty low. rotten to me. Master, do you know anything? No, but there's definitely something going on. Keep your eyes open out there. I can't not see him as Leonardo. Um, but yeah, I, I do love a good... Uh, I love a good Chinese proverb. Right, 141.25. Hello? Oh, what? Well, bloody hell, it's 1.1.5, What are you doing? What? What are you doing? Wait. Right, there we go. Here we this go. is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Solid Snake. You're the nuclear specialist that the Colonel mentioned? That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. I am also a military analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor from the nuclear emergency search team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop them. 
You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon? The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen, and neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake. Everyone, all the ladies want to work with Snake. You should call him more often. <laughs> His name Robert Paulson. That's an unfortunate name, isn't it? His name is Robert Paulson. His name is Robert Paulson. Um, thanks, Mo Morris. You've um, you've been upgraded to the rank of Colonel. With that, piece. I mean, you, you, your advice is as good as the Colonel's. Right, I need this guy to go away. What was the thing about that? Why is he giving me this optic disc containing Metal Gear exercise data? Oh, hang on. Do I use that on the computer? Can I use it on the computer? Turn. Oh, man. Call Campbell? In. Did I call Campbell? Hang on. Oh, Campbell. Okay. Is Campbell the Colonel? Yeah, yeah, okay. The DARPA chief and President Baker. So now the terrorists know both detonation codes. Yeah, and on top of that, they both died right in front of my eyes. Snake, now that the terrorists have both detonation codes, the only way to stop a nuclear launch is to either use the detonation code release keys that Merrill's holding, or... Or find the Metal Gear chief engineer that President Baker mentioned, Al Emmerich. In any case, you should contact Meryl by codec. Wasn't her frequency written on the back of the CD case? I have heard this before. Sadly, I mean, there's, you know, there's, there's, you can't, I guess you, it's like Final Fantasy VII or whatever. You can't avoid all spoilers. I have heard, I have heard this before. Um, uh, the the CD case thing, um, but I don't know how I'm gonna do it because I don't have the CD case. Like I know it's 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 on the actual CD case, the PS1 box, which I don't own. Um, call up Campbell again. Is he gonna be like, damn it, you lost your CD case? Pull yourself together, snake. In any case, you should contact Merrill by codec. Wasn't her frequency written on the back of the CD case? Oh man, <laughs> what would you do, Claudio? Yeah, I mean, that would be good if someone could just tell me, seeing as there's literally no other way that I could discover it, as far as I, as far as I know, anyway. Um, yeah, Claudio, what did you do? You, I've stuck with this for ages. Claudio's like trying, trying each of the billion combinations. 141.12, 141.13. Cheers, guys. I mean, he's got these like imprinted into your brain. Or did you look it up? Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the Colonel's niece, Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. That's you're just sweet. like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha! Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you <laughs> Solid Snake? That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Well. Sorry, oh, no. before, I wasn't <laughs> sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? No, they're beautiful, compassionate eyes. <laughs> oh, just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry, you'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? 
Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah, you know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Boxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush-hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry, I I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah, that's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm, sounds like it, but I have no idea what. Me neither, yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes, is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. Oh. What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training, but when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action, and now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you, the real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> okay, Snake. 
I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Thanks, Chiquito. Welcome to the stream. Thank you. I am, I'm having loads of fun. I did, little did I know that um, this was gonna... Oh god, they, what's going on here? The guy won't leave the door alone? It's extremely annoying. He's like, <laughs> he's decided to like set up base outside the door. I'm gonna have to deal with this guy once and for all. Um, hello. Yeah, I... I that's crazy, because I remember, like... Oh, hello. Hang on. You know, I remember kind of being told that, you know, in, in the later games, Metal Gear Solid 4, 5, you know, some of the events... Ah! Oh, Jesus. He's non-stop, this guy. Oh, what? Ah, what? I, I, I thought that I had more space than I did there. That was really stupid. Smash him in the face! <laughs> I'm out of here. Hey, Katigan, thank you for the donation, man. Really appreciate it. Oh, God, my phone's ringing. Snake. Can't go I'm what, two minutes without a bit of cut snakes. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry, I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. Yeah. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake, the cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait, you said you'd stay put and be a good girl. <laughs> I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. Yeah, cheers for the donation, Cardigan. So, this door here is just to save me doing too much backtracking. Is that door... Is that door the one that's in the in basement level 2? Is the point to which you're referring to that? Or is that the one... Muff? <laughs> or... Is that the one that's on? She said it was on like the first floor on the uh, on the north side. Or something? Like I've been told, the lo like two different locations. Well, yeah, it, the, the the piracy thing worked on Claudio. I mean, which one? And one of the characters says you're playing a pirate copy of this game. <laughs> oh, terrified. Yeah, am I going to, um, I might call Campbell, see what he thinks, actually. He'll tell me what to do. Good old Campbell. Meryl contacted you, didn't she? Go through the cargo door in the north part of the hangar. Head for the Warhead storage building. No, no, they're, they're donations, Alex. It says next to it. It, it says... It's a nice little block. It says Katagon says four euros. Because everyone's from different, um, everyone's from different places, so it's always in like a different currency. But yeah, they are donations. Very, very kind viewers. Find a video of the spiral thing. Send it in the Discord. Whenever you're lost, ask the code deck. Okay. Go, go, go. So is this the it, is this the hangar? I don't think it is. Oh. Tell you what, he sticks to walls like a little bug. Ah, this is what she just opened, isn't it? Yeah. Sensors. 
You probably can't see them with your naked eyes. No, no but there are eyes. infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them, and the doors will seal off, and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow, you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. Boss tips. Boss tips is nice. I know I don't want to do that. Be careful, Snake. Yes, I know. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, like, I still, it's still kind of, it's still a very large amount of the audience. Okay, that ain't it, Chief. You got a gas mask by any chance, Snake? Oh, God, seriously. Um. Um. Dying. I, I, I'm dead, aren't I? I don't think I've got it yet. <laughs> Ballsy. What's wrong? Snake! Snake! Um, yeah, it is a clever game mechanic. You gotta do. No, I'm not. I don't want to talk to you again. So the cigarettes, like, careful, how, snake. how kind of, what kind of range have they got on them? Yeah, the, the only thing. I mean, this is a problem. Claudio always makes fun of me for this as well. Um. Okay. Time to die again. Um, yeah, Claudio always makes fun of me with, with, with um, the, um, I assume there's no point even attempting to escape here, by the way. I assume there is no way out. Um, barely had a chance to light me cigarettes, and I, and the bloody, the, the laser, what, laser came towards me. Um, yeah, I'm always very... I do it with Final Fantasy, and I know it's a very terrible habit, and I have been getting out of it. Um, I, I've, been, I've been stopping the habit. Um, the... Oh, jeez. Why are you calling me again? Busy. Snake, oh, you. That room is set with infrared sensors. You should be able to see them if you had some smoke. Oh, uh, cigarette smoke or something. Oh, really? That's nice. She can see that I've died multiple times and thinks she'd like to help me out. I mean, how can I... Okay. God, that's... Uh... Go, 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 go. Ah! Oh! I think I've got to go like sideways. Jesus, this. <laughs> Be prepared. Now, screw the cutscenes. Now's the time to go get your popcorn. Hmm. Yep. She told you that. She had the info. I, 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 what I did was I died a bunch of times deliberately so that she'd call because I know that Claudio likes her voice. That was, that was all that was. Jeez, I did, you know, traversing this room is proving to be harder than I realized. Yeah, all right, I don't need telling again. Oh, Jesus. That was my fault. <laughs> okay, so I've got my cigarettes out. Get down. Just don't don't go sideways, mate. Okay, and then go. I think I'm. I think I'm safe now. Really? I'll be honest. It's quite. Oh, it's quite hard to tell. Um, where the lasers are and stuff. And they seem to like appear and then disappear quite regularly. It's best to stand. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll go with that then. I guess if I stand, I can go faster, can't I? I'll just have to wait for it to go up in the air. Making it. You're doing it. Making it harder? Okay. 
Oh, cigarettes deplete your health as well. Man, well, don't smoke, kids. No, but seriously, don't. <laughs> don't. It's terrible. Um, I used to smoke, but like, I stopped before I, um, before I did the started the YouTube channel. But I used to smoke for like I have quit smoking for. Uh, I haven't smoked for about five years. But, but, but prior to that, I smoked for like, I don't know, 10? Too long. Oh, I got, I got over, over, uh, I got overconfident. That was just stupid. <laughs> just kill me. Oh yeah, I'm loving it. I mean, I'd say on, on average, if if you say that seven is the middle point, which it kind of, it, it is basically, because obviously we're up to fifteen, seven, seven's as close as you can get to the middle. If you say seven is the middle point, I would say that I've enjoyed the games before seven more than the games after seven. Infrared sensors. You should be yeah, yeah. So I, I, I've quit now for about five years. I had no idea you smoked Moldy. It's crazy. I mean, I suppose it just never comes up in conversation, does it? It's not something you have any need to talk about. Um, it, my, it, do you know what it is? It's my sense of perspective. I can't. I'm, I'm genuinely like looking at this, and um, I can't tell. Where? I just, oh, this is see, this is going to be really bad and painful. Um, you can die after that statement. <laughs> Look at the bottom part. How do you mean? Maybe I should be looking at it a bit. Focus on the lower black bar. The lower black bar. If that's the case, then I, I, I'm not even seeing a lower black bar. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong thing. I, I'm looking Let's at the... That room is set Look, you. Sensors. you should... Take your advice and get out. That's a good idea. Don't smoke too much cigarettes. Make you weak. So look at this. She's gone an extra step now. She thinks, she thinks I'm ignoring her and I'm not using the cigarettes. So she's going the whole hog. And... Yeah, the black bar. Okay, so. Oh, I see. Okay, you're saying that the, presumably the lines only drop on the the line. The, the lasers presumably are all lined up with the black lines. I didn't. I didn't make that link. Yeah, that. No, with that one piece of knowledge, it just made me do it first time. Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta get my card out. Yeah, I did. the fact that they're lined up makes it much easier. Snake, be careful. There are claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. Oh. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. What? Deep Throat. <laughs> The informant from the Watergate scandal? <laughs> Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting well. to ambush you. Who are you anyway? One of your fans. Who wants that as their code name? Just call me Deep Throat. Right, mine detector. When equipped, buried mines show up on the radar screen. Okay. Beautiful. It is a good job. You were right then. Um, Kat Katzkin said it was a good job I found that mine detector. It was. How's my health? My health is lovely. Just have a little browse around the snow. Oh! Or not. I was going to have a look around, see if I could find any items, but we've been interrupted by another cutscene. Oh, was it Claudio? Wow. That's an interesting choice of code name. Snakes don't belong in Alaska. I will not let you pass. Send him a message. 
message. Is this gonna be boss fight number two? Because I'm packing grenades, man. <laughs> That's right. You belong on the ground. Oh my god, what's You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. Obviously I know about Watergate. Watergate is like super super famous. Um, I didn't I had no idea that the informant was called <laughs> Deep Throat though. Right. I mean, I don't know. I guess grenades? Other way to go? Oh! Okay. I, did, I literally don't even know where he is, and I've just been... Grenade... Shot. Maybe if I keep running? I mean, if I keep moving... More chance of him missing? The first boss fight? Yeah, second. Um, <laughs> first boss fight I did first time, no deaths. This one. Oh, don't you dare. Okay, at least that's at least. The, what, do you know what the difference is between this and Crisis Core? Skippable. Cup. Well, that was rude. I hadn't even. What? I. I, I Right, I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna. I was just gonna say that was deliberate. I am trying to blow myself up, I'm trying to die because I wasn't happy. <laughs> I know that's stupid. I wasn't happy that I'd lost health there um, by accidentally walking into a mine. So I thought, screw it, I'll I'll die and reload with full, full health. Rations, bruh. First death on a boss. Not first death. Um. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I don't think that sounds any better. But yeah, skippable cutscenes, thankfully. So, um, at least I don't have to sit through that again. How can I improve my game and knowledge just by watching you first as well? Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, like, there's, like, people regularly like to tell me how bad I am at games. And, um,. Don't have to accept those codec things. Ah, yeah, that's a fair point. That is a good point. Um, okay, so get. Okay. Maybe I should use the better gun. I don't know. I would be a. Ah, oh, what am I doing? I forgot about the mines. Um, right, where's the bloody tank? There's the tank. Where's the tank? There's the tank. In your face. Um. Bug, bug. Gonna go solid snake style and log in with my secret account. <laughs> okay. That's for anyone who doesn't know, by the way, that's Black Wisp. So if you see Black Wisp arrive, it's uh it's Claudio undercover. Right, here we go. Time to stand still, right? When when I'm get if I get the, the menu out, time stands still, right? I hope I'm better dude. Oh come on! Give a guy a break! I can't even get close to him without getting three quarters of my health off. You know, like a chuckle. Alright, where Seriously! <laughs> yeah, now would be a good time to get up, snake. Where is he? There he is. Oh god, I dropped it by accident. Oh, what the? I mean, how how that's not killed me, I don't quite know. I've literally just been ran over. And again. Right, maybe I'll try the gun. Okay, that's... That's not it. Ugh. <sighs> But yeah, anyway, people regularly tell me, my point was that people, people are always, I think it's, people are always, it's, most often, the, the, the most, when people are watching a playthrough of something, almost certainly it's going to be one of their favourite games. People tend to not watch playthroughs of games they've never heard of, or whatever. So, if someone's watching my playthrough of Final Fantasy V, 4, 6, Resident Evil, whatever, 
no matter what they're watching. I mean, Metal Gear Solid right now. No matter what um, it is, chances are if someone's watching my playthrough, it's because it's one of their favorite games. So funnily enough, they're going to be really good at it. It'd be like if I was watching someone play Dark Souls and whatever. I'd be able to tell them everything and where the best weapons are and what... what. Seriously. No, no, I'll be alright too. I'll, I'll figure it out. And die trying. That is the fun. <laughs> That's the fun, in, you know. Like, I mean, maybe if I die, if I'm, if I'm here an, an hour from now. That's I'm not. I'm not waiting an hour. But you know, if I was here, if I was proper struggling, I'll ask for help. But I'm sure I'll figure it out. I mean, bloody hell. Kids were figuring this out plenty of time. Like long ago. Sure, I can do it. Back when there was no internet. Well, the world's good. Okay, maybe if I duck? Maybe, maybe if I duck. Oh, the icon is the second, is the second call of it. It's probably because you can die. That M1 tank is equipped with advanced electronics. Once it locks on to a target, it automatically tracks it. And its main gun is effective up to 3,000 meters. To get close, you'll have to confuse the tracking system. Uh -huh. Use your chaff. If you can jam the system and get close enough, it won't be able to use its main gun. You Use your chaff at a long distance to fool its electronics. Thank you, Natasha. Now I'm going to die. Because I... I've run out of, you know, I've lost loads of health, run out of rations, whatever. I'm going to come back fresh with that new knowledge. You've never thought of using chaff? Oh, wow. Okay, well, there you go. You learned something new. You you have learned something from someone who hasn't got a clue what they're doing. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Loads of people were talking about the voice acting earlier, and I was I, I meant to kind of agree and say it is. It's it's shocking how good it is. Um, no, I don't mean that in an offensive way, but like, I think I was. Ah! Didn't get a chance to bloody launch it. Hang on, it's my. I don't know. If, I don't know if that's gonna blow up. Let's see. Oh, there we go. It's jammed. It's jammed. Okay, now I just need to get my regular grenades out. Oh god! Okay, he's back. He's back with the big guns, I think. Oh, that's better. I have to get it, like, on top of the tank. I have to get it pretty much on his face. Jesus. I'm never gonna do it this attempt. I've already, like... I'm, I'm too low on grenades now. Jesus. Yeah, it's it's over for me. Uh, I don't think I have any other grenades. I'm just, you know, for the purposes of just monkeying around. Why, why, why do you not? There we go. I know, but I've really screwed up here. Like I've, I've cost myself a ton of um. Go on, shoot me! Ah! I've cost myself like I, I, I should have killed him in a lot less grenades. Like I had, I think, like ten grenades or something, and of the ten, only one of them hit him. Um, so I'm gonna come back <laughs> with my uh, stocks refilled. Boss by GTA. But yeah, um, yeah, the, the the voice acting for this is really good, and also because I was thinking about this, I, like I've been playing, um, get my chaffs up already. I have been playing The Last of Us recently, which I never got round to finishing the first time I played it. Um, right, this time I'm gonna throw it. There we go. Oh, I threw two. God damn it! Through two because I was I was spamming the button because he wouldn't bloody throw it. 
Um, oh well. I've got loads of chaffs. Oh, he's in. Okay, I wondered why the guy that I was throwing grenades at was actually in, like, the, the you know, the white snowsuit thing. It's because I'm. The, the actual boss, boss has gone hiding. Like a coward. That's a. That's got. Oh, what a shot! I didn't like it. <laughs> See how you like. Don't please don't blow up on me. Okay, thank God. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. No. Oh, come on. That blew up right on him. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. He's not good. Not as good as the first one. Ah. Oh no, I'm out of rations. I, I, I'm sure there's some dot around the, the room. It's not a room, is it? Oh, damn it. Okay, I'm definitely going to do it next time. Got the hang of this now. Yeah, yeah. So I think that one of the things that, that I, I've been. Re I never got a chance to finish The Last of Us. One, one first time around. I just kind of stopped playing it, and I don't really. It's not like I hated it or anything. Um, I don't know why I stopped playing it. I mean, it was fine. You know, I wasn't like loving it or anything. It was alright. Um, and and then like I and then I watched someone play. Um, oh, cheeky little ration that I. Cheeky little ration that's completely gone to waste because uh, <laughs> I walked into a bomb. If I make it out, if I die on this attempt, I'll get the ration and not walk into the bomb. Um, yeah, so I didn't, I didn't get. I didn't. What? That was a perfect shot. Oh, it's so annoying. When he shoots you, it makes you drop your grenade. Very annoying. Beautiful. What a shot. That first shot, if you if you land the first shot right, you can get half his health. Gone in one. Ah, I was so close to getting the uh getting it on him. Man. Every time he shoots me, it forces me to drop my grenade. Very annoying. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right on his head. Come on. Get out. Boom. Two grenades. Look at that. Speed run strats that was. Only takes two grenades. Two if you plant them correctly. Only takes two grenades. Boss number two down. Only died about ten times. Well, boss, I hope you are happy. He got the card. We'll play with him a little longer. You would be wise not to underestimate him. What did you think of him? He is just as you said. In battle, he is as if possessed by a demon. Much like you, I would expect no less. See? I told you so. But I will kill him. So, General Ivan, I hear he took your hand as well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always. Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. In my defense, I think it's probably a, it's probably a conservative estimate to say that of those two hours, I reckon one hour of it was... As my maximum health just increased. Oh, and now I can carry three rations. Ooh, oh, I think it was Uki did mention earlier. Like the more, the more bosses that you kill, the more 
like stuff you can carry. Um, just I'm going to move you down here before I go up the lot of stairs, seeing if there was anything here. Um, yeah, yeah, I'd say a good hour of the game so far has been <laughs> cutscenes. Um, Russian. Hello. Can I do my little? I can get my my thing out. Magnifying scope. Press circle to zoom in. X to zoom out. Okay. Ooh, these guys have got like gas masks on. They like working in some kind of toxic environment. I don't know. It's crap on that. Usually a good idea to save after bosses. That is a fair <laughs> that is a fair suggestion. Go on, mailing. What is it, Snake? Uh, I've been playing I have been playing The Last of Us 1, Claudio. But uh, yeah, so really I Snake like Shakespeare said, oh. not had all spent. What our desire is got without content. Basically it means that your desire can get you into trouble if you're not careful. That goes for items too. Don't get <laughs> too greedy or you might be sorry. Hey. Be careful, Snake. She used two different Chinese proverbs to make the same point. Basically, stop being greedy. Um, I can go back. Is that the way I'm supposed to be going? This way? Is this is back out into the. Presumably, this, this way is back out into the snow, I'm guessing. Yeah, it is. Although there was some loot. To, the loot to be had out here, actually, that I remember kind of mid boss fight. I was thinking. Or just before killing them, I was thinking, oh, I, I want to make sure that I go back and. Pick that up. Oh bloody hell! They were definitely not going to let me run out of grenades there, were they? <laughs> yeah, it's it, it is. It's the Final Fantasy thing of like not using anything and then like saving it for the end of game boss and whatever. Um, and I've got better at that. I, I really have. Like I, you know, I use ethers now and. Like it's an illness. Oh, hang on! I just, I just realised it was the perspective. You couldn't. I don't think it's terribly easy to see. I mean, maybe when you go into first-person view, then it's obvious. But without first-person view, I don't think it was terribly obvious that that was a slightly open door. Is now the time, really? Be careful! You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nanomachine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Can't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. <laughs> they try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. All of the warheads in those boxes Defend have had their panel. detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. All right. Well, it, it seems like, by the sounds of it, the option the the, it, the option's been taken away anyway. So, I'm right, going back out because I can see him coming towards me. Go, go, go. I can't see where I'm headed. Ah! What was that noise? Nothing. You heard nothing. Okay, there's a staircase. Oh, damn it. It's the floors. It's these goddamn floors. Right, screw it. I'm just gonna go up here for now. Hey, that was not what I expected to walk into. Oh, damn it, that was not what all soon. Jesus. That was That 
Oh, stop flipping people. Okay, that's an elevator, obviously. Um, right, I think I'm just gonna chaff. Oh, God damn it! Oh, no, I can't use chaffs. Thank God for that. I can use every, uh, everything else is blocked but chaffs. Um, oh, so the enemies can use guns, but I can't. That's nice. None of your business. Oh, this has just led me on a wild goose chase. I did not need to go. Oh, I did not need to go that circle. I think I needed to go up the elevator. Oh, or down the elevator. God damn it. Oh, hang on, can I get back? Get in here. I mean, I can, but there's, <laughs> there's no real benefit. Well, well, the, the benefit, I guess, is hiding. It is a stealth game, after all. Suck them. Right, slowly, slowly. Go back up this staircase, and we're going to have to go... I think the only, play, the only place to go is the elevation. Oh, come on! I bloody... Oh, we're dead. Okay, so by doing that... If they shoot, then I guess it it releases the plutonium, and then you're dead. So, they are allowed to shoot, but they're all going to die if they do. Well, I mean, they care if the nukes go off, because they're going to die. Uh, they, do I have to, no, I don't have to get that again. Getting caught here, basically game over. Yeah. <laughs> I just found out. Found that out the hard way. Um, if you use the box in the truck, you can fast travel to the other hangar. That is a very interesting, weird quest. Right, it's alright. We're just going to chill. It was quite easy to get to the elevator the first time. I just screwed it up then. Bada bing, bada boom. I am missing the sock and bullets by doing it this way and not going to the truck, but I'll be okay. I'll come back and get them if I need them. What was that noise? <laughs> Elevator! I know, I know. I... Come on! I should have. I, I know it should be like. I know it was like if you get caught, game over. But in reality, I should be able to go. No, we're getting out of here in the elevator. Yeah. So playing, playing. So I played maybe half of The Last of Us One when I when I first it, it came out on PS Plus. It's not the kind of game I buy to be honest. Um, but it came out. It came out on PS Plus. It was free, and obviously it's again kind of like this. It's very iconic. So I thought I'll give it a go. Um, and I got maybe like halfway through, and then I kind of got I don't know. I just got distracted or whatever. Ended up playing something else. Um, so I never finished it. And then I, but I, I, I guess I wasn't that enthralled enough to to really wanna go back. That is so annoying. So, uh, <coughs> <coughs> um, I did actually press on the elevator deliberately because he, he was saying that if you press on the elevator, it makes it come faster. But I guess I should have also thought it's going to make it come quicker, but it's also going to alert them to my presence. Um, but yeah, so I got maybe halfway through, stopped playing it, and then, um, well, to be fair, this is very much not reality, is it? In reality, they would just stop the elevator midway. <laughs> well, in reality, um, there wouldn't be mind-reading dudes hanging around. 
you gotta be by the button to do that. Oh, so you don't you don't actually bang on the door then? Let's grab some grenades before we head out. I'm tempted to just shoot this guy, you know. I have got a silenced gun. Oh, I can't, can I? Yeah, I forgot about that bit. <laughs> Come on. Doesn't she trust me to just be accurate? I'm a, you know, I'm an absolute, you know, professional. I can be trusted to, um, to, you know, to shoot someone without accidentally blowing up some kind of warhead. Please turn around. Because you are getting awfully close to me. Bada bing, bada boom, let's get out of here. Okay, we'll just take it one at a time. So we'll go to basement one, then basement two. Um, yeah, so, so got about halfway through the, uh, the Last of Us, the first one. Never went back to it, and then I... S and then... um. Do they find dead bodies in this, by the way? Like, will will the other guards find his body and go, "Ooh, what's you know, what's this kind of thing?" Or is that not a thing in this? Um, I'll leave that ration there for later. I might come back. In the words of Mei Ling, "Don't be greedy." Um. That's a restroom that isn't open. Go this way. It's very, it's very like, it really throws you off that you kind of can't, you can only see a small amount of the room on the map and a small amount of the room on the screen. You never kind of know what you're walking into, sometimes until it's too late. left the room. Yeah, whatever. Fair enough. Right, that's a no-go. Hey! Nikita missiles, Nikita launcher. Bloody hell. I assume that's a rocket launcher. Just because what else is called launcher? Pretty early in the game to be getting rocket launchers. Okay, this room's a no-go. Ah, he's gone to the toilet. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, I'll take him out while he's... Oh, no! Jesus. Right, where's my silence? Right, oh god. Can I hide in the toilet, maybe? It launches Nikita's. Boom! There we go. Oh, screw it. We're dead. We're dead. Ah, snake. Um. So I was halfway through the um, the last was one. Didn't finish it, and then I and then I watched. I just watched like basically the cutscenes only version of um of the Last of Us Two, and it kind of gave me a new like. I don't know, like a new perspective on on The Last of Us 1. I kind of, I don't know, I, I really like the story of... Oh, he didn't drop a ration this time. I really like the story of them. And, you know, the, the gameplay's not that bad. I, I joke about the gameplay being bad or whatever, but it's not bad. It's, it's just not, you know... It's not groundbreaking, is it? But it's perfectly fine. Um... Right, is he gonna go to the toilet again? It'd be good if he did. I don't think there's anything else on this floor, by the way, so I think I'm just gonna get these guns and then head down to the basement too. Doesn't look like there was anything else I could do here. 
Um, yeah, so so that gave seeing two and kind of the story of two gave me a bit of a new perspective on. Oh, got some bullets under the table. Where's he gone? Oh, he's, okay, now he has gone to the toilet. Let's go, go, go. Get the missile launcher and let's get out of here. Oh, what's over there? Oh, stun grenades. I'll tell you what, I thought that this game would be really, like, um, stingy with the ammo and stuff, and it would give you hardly anything, but I, I feel like I'm swimming and stuff. Um... Yeah, obviously I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about the story of number two because people some people haven't played it. I know for a fact Al hasn't played it, um, but I'm just you know the story of two. I really like the story of two, and it just made me want to give one another chance and play it for myself because I can because I kind of roughly know what happened. Well, I I, I know what happens in at the end of one, but I didn't kind of I've never seen it for myself. Um, and haven't replaying it. I'm really enjoying it. Like it's really good. Um, and one of the things, the reason I've come full circle with this, it's about the voice acting, among other things. Am I about to die? Snake, watch out! That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. Jesus! First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote-controlled missile. <laughs> how are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? The informant from the Watergate scandal? <laughs> Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Who are you, anyway? One of your fans. Okay, so... I've got to use the Nikita. Ah! Okay. Oh, Jesus, this... Ah! This handles like a pile of crap. Okay, I'm just gonna look. Why? Why is it zooming off? What are you doing? Oh my god. What on, I mean, I'm about to die here on account of uh, oxygen. If it goes in a straight line for more than like, I don't know, a second. Is that it? I don't even know what I'm trying to be getting, to be honest. Um, if it goes in a straight line for more than about a second, it just proper zooms off. Crap, yeah, that was northeast, wasn't it? Or, or, or east, but I was heading in the direction. No, 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 I, I found that, don't worry, I found that out very quickly. About that it, um... That it makes it go very fast. Ah, that's a top, top tip, Moldy. Although I'm not going to need to do that. Because we're just going to smash it. No, I don't want to speak to you. I think don't think this is optional. Just call me Deep Throat. I can't get over that name. But then apparently it's a real name, so... Who am I to... Ridicule. Whoa! Oh my god. It's like a bullet bill level. Oh, like a bullet bill level in Mario or something. What? It's got a goddamn time. It's got a time limit on it as well. As if it was. <laughs> as if I wasn't under enough pressure. Just be a missile, not a turtle. Okay, but <laughs> why? Why is it? 
increase its speed in bursts. Um, yeah, I felt like I was nearly there. I think it must have been the room to the left. Um, the room to the left where there were some items in it, because I don't think there was anything else um, in the room where it exploded. Can't I just ignore you, Deep Throat? So how long, do you, how many, out of interest, how many streams do you reckon this is going to take me to finish? Bearing in mind my uh, very poor ability. Um, run! Run, little missile! Because, um, um, I, ah, oh, damn it. Right, I'm going to pop back out. And then, go back in. Um. Because, um, yeah, I heard it was like 11 hours, something like that. So if it's 11 hours, um, you know, that's, uh, that's like, you know, this is on how long to beat and how long to beat always kind of base it on like basically blind playthroughs or, or like your first playthrough. Um, I mean, obviously they can't tell people not to use walkthroughs or whatever. There we go. Get out. Mr. Electricity. Although there are still turrets in that room, so I've probably got to watch out for them. And I've still, yeah, I've still got the issue of the oxygen, so let's pop back out first. Uh, maybe I should take the chaffs. Three. Three streams left for prediction. And that's a no-go. Oh, this is... A ration. Okay, so I've basically got to be quick about this. There's somewhere... There's going to be somewhere in here where I can turn off the gas. I've just got to find out where it is. Do, 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 do. Oh. Gone through to the next area. Okay. Uh, well, the gas is gone, but I kind of wanted to continue looting that place, to be honest. I'm going to take take my chances. No! <laughs> Is it going to... Lots of C4. Very low. Well, not very low on oxygen, but I'm... I'm very aware of the fact that however long it took me to get here, it's going to take the same like, to get back out. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't even need that. Was uh, This is... It's all come true, Bailing. It's all come true. She told me don't get greedy. Maybe you don't need it. And I've, I've got greedy. And I've... It's cost... I got greedy and it cost me my life. <laughs> I'm not taking the blame for them idiots, Al. Um. God damn it. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I found. I mean, I did. I, I found some C4, I think. Did I pick that up or. I'll, I'll go back and get the C4. I think that. I think I did. I got. I could, I could get the C4 and get back out. But the stuff that was really far away, funnily enough, I couldn't even pick up anyway, so it doesn't even matter. I think it was just this room. Pack it in. Okay, it was it was only bloody 2C4 as well, because I couldn't even pick up the grenades. It's not even... What a waste of time. I mean, if I die, I'm not even going to bother going back to get that. Right. She does. Mei Ling does know what's up. She told me I shouldn't be greedy. What was that? Still getting jammed. There we go. Yeah, one of the things that... Looks like they were cut by some type of blade. 
Yeah, there's also the whole, uh... Liquid snake. A ghost egg. Or a genome soldier that can go invisible. You really are making good progress? Am I? Oh god. I've got rocket I've got a rocket launcher, mate, and I know how to use it. How am I doing for I'm doing okay for health. That was a level four lock, but it has been it does look like it was kind of broken. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Stealth camouflage? Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Oh, what next? Snake. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. How are you, Mr. Pants? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. George Bird? I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy the moment. What's with what is the guys? Darker Chief called? It's like one of my George Japanese Bear. animes. I've come from another world to do battle with you. Sure, I've seen that what name before. Revenge is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respite. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. <sighs> yeah, you'll be safe in there, man. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. I thought I thought the voice sound was the same. But um I thought that might be because it was the same character. Very weird. For it's very weird to announce on screen who the voice actor is. That's weird. That's weird. And also very weird to use the same voice actor twice in the same game to voice people who sound quite similar. Um, I mean, obviously he's got a bit more of a like synthetic-ness to his voice because he's like some kind of cyborg. Right. Okay. I'm going with the F. The farmhouse. No, oh, jeez. Steady on, mate. Steady on. Oh, what happened to the auto aim? I can't defeat you with a weapon like that. Okay. What does he want then? I, I could stun him. I do need a ration. I'll, I'll wait a little while. Oh Jesus! What have I done? No, I don't want that. No. <laughs> I thought he was making a movie. Yeah, that sounds... <laughs> Has that done the job? Where, Where is he? God damn it. Okay, so they're giving me... Ah, he's electrical. He's electrical, isn't he? Go on. There we go. And then now I can shoot him. I assume. But not much. What? Why? Maybe I should plant a C4 on him. Oh, damn it.
Hey, I blew myself up. I'm gonna die now. I'm just gonna let him kill me. Um, oh, like I feel like I've uh, I've uh, I feel like I've figured it out mostly. Like, I, I know I've got to stun him with the chaff grenades, and then I've just got to, you know, I guess take my weapon of choice. And I oh, and I don't really have that many. If one, oh, hello, I'm in a box. You'll never find me. I wonder if he actually knows where I am. Yep, he knows. Um. Right, I can start afresh now. Full health, full without wasting ammo and stuff. Um. Snake, bow, bow, bow. Snake. In the game's version, they use different voice actors, like Rob Paulson for the ninja. It's just, I I just find it it's weird that they um that they announced the I mean it's quite cool if you especially if you're a voice actor like you know if you are a voice actor then you've kind of got your name forever in a like bang in a you know in an iconic um you know in an iconic game or whatever most voice voice actors you know you get the credits and it's just like oh whatever. Oh, that's how I feel. <laughs> I get to the credits and I just like mentally switch off kind of thing. Um. Oh, that was a mistake. Um, yeah, so most voice actors won't even get their kind of, you know, their minutes of fame. Because... Right, okay. And... Okay, so don't do that. Snake, you can't defeat me with a weapon like that. Hang on, mate. Something smells in the way. Ah! In left. Oh, wow, I have that ration. Don't mind if I do. Where's he gone? There must be maybe a, a weapon around here that they expect me to... I mean, they're giving me the famous. What the... Okay, what, what is up with the names of the guns in this? I've never heard of a Sockham or a Famas. Or F-A-M-A-S, whatever, whatever. I mean, I don't know. Maybe these are like official... Hurting them enough. This is crap. Maybe I just have to hurt him a bit and then he's gonna go, Oh, I'm gonna run away and I'll see you, I'll fight you another day. I don't know, because I'm not doing enough damage to him. Such a pathetic amount of. I mean, can I. It'd be nice if I could steal his sword off him and chop his head off. I don't know why I can't. Right there. Why can't I? There's gotta be something more. Famous in tons of games. Okay, I mean, I, I don't play. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's just that I don't play that many shooters. This ain't it, is it? This is not it. Maybe, maybe I was right the first time. No, ah, oh, that I, I think that's a genius idea. Stun him and then whack a C4 on his face. I mean, come on, how does that not work? Um, I haven't got a lot of other options to be honest. Right, after this attempt, I might phone, do it. I might go with the codec, see what info they've got to get, give me. Kill me! Why, why am I doing such pathetic amounts of damage? Like, I don't have enough 
chaff grenades to be able to kill him at this, you know, at this particular speed. There's no way this is the official way of doing it. I'm going to run out of chaff grenades. I have run out of chaff grenades. Um... I mean, he's literally said I can't... He's basically said I can't kill him with the gun. And that's all I've got left now. Ah. Right, I'm gonna let him kill me. And then, uh... And then... Yeah, and then I'm gonna go with the Kodak. He stumped me. <laughs> Right. Come on, Codec. Give me some magical. I need a rocket launcher like Resi 4. Something that'll just one shot him. I mean, I have got a rocket launcher, funnily enough. I don't know if I should use it on him. I could do. Yeah. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll see it. Maybe I'll see how, how good a rocket does on him. Obviously, once he's stunned. Right. Don't mind me. I'm just calling Deep Throat. Not now. Come on, please. If you have a question about members of Foxhound, you should ask Naomi. I'm sorry, but there's no one in Foxhound like that. There are currently only six members of Foxhound. Psycho Mantis, Sniper Wolf, Falcon <laughs> Raven, Decoy Octopus, Definitely Remote are. Ocelot. And finally, Liquid Snake. Yeah. The genome soldiers under his command are next generation special forces. Foxhound is intended to be a small number of highly elite hand picked soldiers. You're talking about the current Foxhound, right? Yes. Snake, who or what is that thing? Is he an enemy or not? That's what I'd like to know. Naomi, you really don't have any idea? Maybe I should ask you the same thing. What? Nothing. Forget about it. Yeah, I, yeah. I, so um, mainling's not going to give me any help. I mean, master might. I'll just ask around. Um, yeah, the whole. I haven't spoke about Liquid Snake yet. Like, obviously, I don't know. Like, he's he supposedly looks like me, and obviously he's got a similar kind of name. Um, someone asked if he was our family, and we said we've got no family. Maybe we've got family we don't know about. He's just playing with you. Why don't you try throwing away your weapons? Why don't you try throwing away your weapons? I don't even... Can I do that? Ninja, I've never heard of any member of Foxhound like that. But you're going to have to do something about him if you want to save Dr. Emmerich. I mean, unless he just means... Unless he just means, like, use your fists, which I have been doing. He move. He must have some kind of powered exoskeleton. Powered exoskeleton? You mean like prosthetic arms and legs? No. Prosthetics are intended to replace original body parts. That ninja's exoskeleton makes him far stronger than any normal human. He is a true cyborg. A cybernetic organism. So he's half machine, huh? I heard rumors about the experience. It's not an expression I've ever heard. I have no idea that such a creature really existed. I don't know. When in doubt. Oh, no. He ain't. They're not answering. Right. Okay, so it is. Oh, I'm not even a look at that. I was, I was saying a minute ago, wasn't I? Oh, maybe I'll try the rocket launcher. What kind of cheap boss? He's not allowing me to use the rocket launcher on him. Right. There we go. Chuck another one, and that should... Oh, no, it went off just a smidge too early. I was trying to time it so it went off as he was getting back up. Okay, really? I mean, this is going to take about 
20 frag grenades. Oh, some chaff grenades even. Oh, I only got one punch in there. We'll get him. Ah, okay. So, I don't have to... I don't have to... I thought I had to stun him to be able to hurt him, but I don't. Stunning him is just a nice little bonus. But I think I can just punch him. Ah! He was alarmed there. Okay, this is quite tricky. Um, <laughs> I, I, seem to, I can hurt him when he's running around, but it's not easy. Oh, where is he? Where is he? Oh, now he's on the bloody floor, so I can't do it. Outrageous. I don't know why they're giving me this, these, this ammo. Because I can't use it on them. Usually they would. Maybe it's a troll. Oh, that is dirty. It's doing some mad damage to me. Back here, you. He is a slippery one. Metal Gear Solid as a series is famous for the one hit on the boss and then back off and wait and go again. Similar to Dark Souls. There's so many bosses like that. Oh, lovely. That's, uh, <laughs> something to look forward to. At least we've got some great music. We'll see about that. Ooh. Just beat him up! Why is he why is he invulnerable when he crouches down? It doesn't make any sense. Um I've taken off so little health. Um yeah, and uh, so I really like the. Um, do you have to make the fight harder if you can without it? You can the near for one combo. That, well, yeah, I've realised that. Although, the, oh god. Good. Now we can fight as warriors. Hand to hand it is the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, maybe, maybe, you maybe it is. Ah, maybe it is a case of like run, get a few hits in, run away. I say maybe, like you guys don't know a hell of a lot better than I. Hey, what happened to hand to hand, hand to hand combat? Now look at my samurai sword. Ugh. Oh damn it, man! Where's he gonna? He's so fast, and he, like he get, he can get you very easily. Like, like he, he gets you from distance, and he's a lot faster. Ah, oh, what are you doing, man? I mean, of course he gets you from distance. He's got a bloody sword. It's not even fair. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, that's a fair point. I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not truly going hand to hand. I'm walking around with a small bomb in my hand. Maybe I should literally. Uh, maybe I should be like proper hand band. Again. You might be right, you know, Claudio. Maybe that'll make all the difference. That's good, Snake. Okay. Good. Oh, well, I've got him to this now point quicker. Only a fool just to like draw like that. And then, and then, and then Al, Al said, instantly whips out a weapon. Ooh. Oh, God, 
that man. They, the enemies in this do. There's no messing around with the kind of damage they can do to you, is there? Like. There's, there's, I mean, it's like, I suppose it's like Dark Souls in that sense as well. There's no room for. There's no room for errors. Or very little room for errors. Come on. Show me. Oh, I thought I had him lined up a treat there. Okay, well this is the best we've ever done, and 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 the quickest we've ever done as well. Oh. Right. Let me get my Russian. I'm gonna use this wall. When in the, when when I need to, I'll discover it. Oh wow, that's really cool. You can destroy the kind of scenery. That is again, like for the time, is very like groundbreaking. You know, actually like smashing up the environment in the middle of a fight. Okay, doing it. Not particularly hard, is it, mate? I th my only fear is what you know I'm gonna get to the end of this and I'm gonna have like wasted all my rations or whatever but you know I'm sure the game will provide me with more oh damn it yeah no cheese for me I was gonna kind of go around this wall loads but um he, he ran away and stopped me from doing it. Like old times. I've been waiting for this pain. Tell you what, for a, for a guy who seems to be all about, you know, honor and fighting me man to man and fist to fist and whatever. Oh, what the hell? He seems to have a. He seems to do, enjoy, you know, doing stuff like turning invisible and. Um. You know, using swords, teleporting. Seems to enjoy breaking the rules. Whoa. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. It is it. Use the force, look. I've been, I've, I've been watched the. Uh, Star Wars trilogy. Actually. Funny enough, I rewatched I rewatched the Star Wars trilogy like a few days ago, and then I I wasn't even on Twitter. Like I took a break from Twitter, and then and then I came back and it was May the Fourth, and everyone was banging on about me, you know, May the Fourth Day, and I totally forgot. That it's not like it's a day I celebrate or anything. <laughs> like I just forgot that it was like even a thing, and um. And then everyone was banging on about Star Wars, and I just watched the kind of, I just rewatched the trilogy again. Um, I, I, when I say the trilogy, I say the trilogy because what I mean is the good trilogy. Oh, that is there. That is absolute scum. <laughs> that is Meiji Master. That is all. That is Titan. That is all the scumbag. Final Fantasy bosses that do one final hit when, <laughs> as you finish them off. That is a disgrace. I mean, if I hadn't been on such low health, I, I, it probably wouldn't have been a big problem. Hmm. No, I do not mean the prequel trilogy. The prequels. <laughs> I mean 4, 5, 6. Stealth camouflage? Who are you? Where is my friend? Yeah, I watched four, five, six. I, I, I'm in the process of watching one, two, three. Like, well, I've watched one. I, I, cause I think it's my, basically my daughter who, like my stepdaughter got for Christmas, she got um, from her dad, she got like a subscription to Disney Plus. And so I'm using it. 
<laughs> share and share it like it. Um, so yeah, she got access to she got access to Disney Plus um, at Christmas, and I just, like obviously you can't get Star Wars films anywhere else. Um, so I I decided that well you know I'll, get, I'll watch them again. So I, do you know? And I forgot how good four, five, and six are. It really I, I thought it'd be like massive nostalgia and blah blah blah. And obviously it is massive nostalgia. Um, but I, I genuinely think they're they're pretty decent. They're, well, more than decent. I genuinely think they are. Obviously, they're not like. I'm not saying that Oscar winners or whatever. Yeah, I just realised that about a second too late, Moby. They're not. I'm not saying that Oscar winners or anything, but they are just very, very good action films. Um, I saw you cosplaying as Spider-Man once, Catagon. That is an amazing suit. So that must is was that suit like super expensive? Because that looks like a proper, you know, professional suit. Your Spider-Man suit. Yeah, I mean, I, for, for the prequels, I kind of like. To me, I absolutely love Darth Vader. Darth Vader's like. I mean, he might be like the best bad guy of all time, of any, from anything. Um, he's, a, he's 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 certainly a very good one. Like, there's just something so like I don't know, special about his prison presence or whatever. Um, yeah, and and so what I wanted from the prequel trilogies was to see like, oh, how you know, I, I wanted. Like, you know, ha, ha, ha. So basically, how was, um, you know, how was, how was Darth Vader, you know, born, kind of, like, like you know, what, and, and, and basically, I mean, I know how, but I wanted, I, I guess I just wanted more Darth Vader. I wanted Darth Vader to be more than the last five seconds going, no, I, I wanted more than that. Because, you know, cause, uh, just because I like Darth Vader. Um, I just want a more Darth Vader than, than, than we got. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. Of, of the of the prequel trilogy, I would say 3 is easily the best. And again, it's because it's the closest to, like, the events that I care about. I just don't care about Anakin pod racing in the desert. It's just like... That is, I don't know. I know it's a backstory and whatever, but I mean, just the whole pod racing was. The pod, the pod race went on too long, I would say. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, I've been watching I've been after Star Wars recently, and it's good. Wait. Focus, Snake. I mean, I've still got three rations here, so. We're doing pretty, pretty good. Three rations and he's got half health. And I actually thought to myself, do you know what? I, I, it's weird. I was watching it. So I watched the four, five, six, and then I watched. I decided I was going to watch them in kind of release order. So I watched four, five, six, and then I, I've watched one. And that, that's as far as I've got. Um, and. And I watched the first like 20 minutes of one, and Jar Jar Binks was in here. And and he was talking. And he was having like actual conversations. And I was like, oh my god. Like, actually, Jar Jar Binks isn't that annoying. I don't understand. I, like, I was confused. I thought, this is weird. Like, I remember him being him being extremely annoying. And, and like 20 minutes in, I was thinking, oh, he's not that bad. And then, and he was, he was like, you know, he was, he, he was talking, having proper conversations and whatever. And then after about the first 20 minutes, they were just like, nah, we'll just stop him having conversations now. And we'll just have him making stupid noises. Like, incredibly stupid, annoying noises all the time. Um, I don't know, like, people say, like, oh, well, there was always comic relief and whatever. But I don't think, like, I don't think Chewie was the comic relief, really. Like, I, I know he's, uh, you could say he's a bit silly or whatever, but he's not, like... I don't know, it feels like every every bit of Jar Jar Binks is trying- No, no, no! I'm not defending them, I hated them. 
that was the point. Um, I just when I first started watching episode one again, I was kind of confused about why I hate them because I was like, oh, actually, he's not that bad. And then I got a few minutes in and I realized, no, actually, he is not bad. But, um, <laughs> I mean, the memorable bit, the memorable bit for me about, um, uh, is it 2, Attack of the Clones, is when, again, it, like, my, the best, I think the best bits of all of the, of even 4, 5, 6, the best bits of 4, 5, 6, for me, are every single scene that has the Emperor in, every single scene that has Darth Vader in, and every single scene that has like Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker together or whatever. Um. We did it! Oh, I don't go on this. I fear that he's going to explode on me again or something. I'm going to stay well away from him. He's making very weird things. What the hell? Um... Like a chaff grenade now. I don't want to hurt you more. You're probably gonna. Ah, okay. Now I can hear some of the gun. There we go. So I've got to stay back, otherwise he's gonna electrocute me, and I've got no rations left. So, can't afford to get hair fan. Boom! Jammy again? What are you talking about, Al? Professional. Do you remember me now? Can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. What's happening? Cyborgs have gone cyborg ninjas gone crazy. Yeah, C3PO and R2D2, I guess you could say, other comically. But even then, like, I guess, well, C3PO talks perfectly normal, and then. C3PO basically translates for for R2D2 to be like, you know, he answers in such a, he answers in a way that you you know what you basically know what R2D2 said. Gray Fox, Colonel, that ninja is Gray Fox, no doubt about it. Ridiculous! You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. No, it's Gray Fox. He should have died, but he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Grey Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born Fox from those experiments. Beats. I remember you saying the big boss is our dad and we I killed him in one of the previous games. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. I don't remember Grey Naomi, Fox. Why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? All right, no worries, Al. Have a good night, man. Naomi, See you later. What happened to Gray Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Uh, 
I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. Okay, so Grey Fox was once a part of this Foxhound group then. The we the we would How long are you gonna stay in there? Is that right? Huh? Are you one of them? No, Have any of you guys played the I NES ones, by the way? Alone? Are you an Otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not <laughs> I love one that, of them. by the way. Like, back to back. Moldy says they're uh, great. Are you hurt? Claudio says they're very I'm average. Okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the president personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. And I nuke, by the sounds of it. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Wake up, Hal. Yeah. But that's not all, I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launch that thing... <sighs> Damn. S -s Damn. S I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. The truth is... My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father, he was born on August 6th, 1945. 
the day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind? It's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? <laughs> Reminds me of a... Um... Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. Poor Rex. How is that to destroy a little pet? I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, <laughs> you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you, I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. Oh, wow. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Five sound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. Jesus, if I had one of them, the game would be a lot easier. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is! Over there! <gasps> oh no! Damn, they've spotted me! <laughs> Meryl, what happened? Damn it. Something's wrong. Did you hear something? That's what Jack Bob Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. A disguise? She had such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. You were really looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. Way of walking, huh? I'd know that anywhere. If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. Nice. Does that just make the game, like, ridiculously pain, easy? Are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. Gonna have a sudden heart no, attack nothing. on me. I'm glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, doctor. Call me Otakon. Otakon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Just sounds like a childish excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But 
That's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. Nice. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. I like the sound of that. As much ammo and rations as I can get. You watch our phone a minute ago. Oh, sorry, I can't get my hands in any. Big HP bar. Right, I'm just gonna grab a drink. I'll be one sec, guys. Oh, yeah, that's a good point, Katakan. It is a good opportunity to save. Come on, mailing. Yeah, it reminds me of him. Um... Snake, there's an old Chinese saying. Oh, a scholar who cherishes the love of comfort is not fit to be deemed a scholar. Einstein said it another way. He said that only a life lived for others is worth living. That's why I entered MIT <laughs> instead of Princeton or Vassar like my friends. I wanted to do applied physics, not just theoretical stuff. I wanted to make things for people. The Soliton radar system or the Kodak system. I just wanted to make something that would be useful for people. I think that it was the same for Dr. Emmerich too. But he was used like a tool. Used to make a horrible killing machine. Maybe it would be better if engineers like us just stop making things. I don't know. Calm down, Mei Ling. Oh yeah, I really like it. It is, it is very James Bond. It is. Um. Okay, fair enough. I'll have a, I'll have a look around. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it reminds me of um, I think his name's like Ottenheimer or something. The guy who invented the um, it's the guy who invented the atom bomb, and he like famously he supposedly said um, <coughs> when they um, when the first like atom bomb got dropped on Hiroshima. He famously like quoted some I think it's that it was like Hindu scripture or something. Um and it was like I don't think I can go back, Katagan. Oh my god. I haven't got my card. There we go. Um <clears throat> Yeah, it was something like, you know, I am he quoted some scripture, it was something like I am death. I have, or I, I am become death, destroyer of worlds, or something. Ba basically, he was, um, ah, <laughs> damn it, man. Um, basically, he was, that, you know, that's not what he got into science for. He created this, and then he created this kind of, I get. I mean, it's hard to say unknowingly. He, I'm sure he must have known what he was doing, but he created the the atom bomb and very much regretted it. Um, 
you know, he felt awful. I think he might have even killed himself afterwards. Um, I don't know. Like, I think, but yeah, he, he felt pretty bad about the, you know, the fact that he created the atom bomb. As you would do, really. Unless you were, unless you were an absolute maniac, you'd feel pretty bad about it. I'm gonna chat, chat. There we go. Chance to. Oh, that's a six. Bloody hell. Missiles. And the... God damn it. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I just, uh, I don't know. I, I, like, it really, like, I mean, some people would say, you know, tough luck, I'm not going to feel, I don't feel any sympathy. But I don't know, I, I, like, I don't know, it's, it, I feel quite sorry for the person who's, you know, who's responsible for inventing, oh, come on, for inventing that. It's just pretty awful, isn't it? Like, I mean, I, like, you would feel... I don't know. I can't even imagine how you feel being the person who's responsible for inventing them. Oh, that was... Uh... Oh, he died of cancer. Okay. Fair enough. My, 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 uh, my version sounded nicer. <laughs> I'm sure. Right, okay. So I need... I was needed to go the other way, mustn't I? Bloody hell, it's not giving me any wiggle room here. I think I'm just going to have to chaff it. Um. There we go. Got the gas mask. And then we'll get in there quick. Whack on the gas mask. Oh, that does not fill up my oxygen. Oh, crap. All it does is make my oxygen go down slower. It doesn't. I I, I thought it would um. You know, I thought it was like a hundred percent fix. Oh no 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 no! Oh man. Yeah, I thought that was a hundred percent fix. I didn't realise it was just gonna slightly slow it down. Okay, so where the hell am I going again? So I have. Oh, well, I've got. I guess I've got a level four key now. So now I can kind of. Now I've just got to backtrack, and then there's basically new places that we unlock. I guess. I think. Yeah, I'm on basement two, so let's go basement one. That's a good. That is a good suggestion, Orby. Where is that? Just like all things like that. There's those things that. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. Like, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not like. Um, I mean, I, 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 I feel sorry for him, like Rob and. Like, cardboard box, excellent. Hey! Get down. Okay, under the table. Under the table, quick. Why are you not going under the table? Goddamn, going under the table. Thank you. Um. Alright, maybe, maybe slightly is an exaggeration, but I thought it was going to, like, completely. Um. You know, I thought I would be free to just roam around there as much as I wanted. This music is really nice. Close call. Where's he gone? Go, go. More. They're so generous with ammo, it's unreal in this. Snake. What? What? 
Is she my friend? Is she the woman? It will. It sounded like a woman. So I, I don't know if that was the. the <laughs> that's kind of crazy. What have I done? I mean, it's a. Okay. Hang on a minute. <laughs> She's a guard. Well, which, which which one is it? <laughs> I'm not allowed to kill her, but when I don't shoot her, it's not a her anymore. Right, hang on. It's uh Oh. I'm looking for the one with the bum. Course. Well, it looks like you've rescued Emmerich for the time being. Yeah, with that stealth camouflage, he should be able to hide safely. Gray Fox. I can't believe it. But the real problem is your niece. The way the codec got cut off like that has me worried. Something must have happened to her. You're worried about Mara? Not exactly. It's just that she's holding the detonation code override keys. Yeah, They're our birds. last chance of stopping that nuclear launch. You're a cold man. Your mission is more important than the life of your companions? This is war. Survival is the name of the game. Sometimes you have to be cold to survive. Yes, but... Snake, either way, I want you to find Meryl as soon as possible. I understand. I'm not sure in this angle, um, in this camera angle or whatever, I, I'm, I'm getting much of an opportunity to have a look at the way they walk. It's ah. hmm. weird. They run off to the toilet. Don't move. Ah, I got completely lucky. <laughs> when in doubt, get lucky. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. Hello, Nomad. Welcome. You're Meryl? There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? <laughs> hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. It's always the time. Why is she going to Besides, pencil? it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. You seem smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back, and guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison, one or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a man who's good at what he does, killing. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The this only so winners in war are the people. <laughs> Not That's in a bad right. way. And you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life, no ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codex is broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. I've never, I can't, I don't think I've ever played a game like this. That was so, so long. Snake, how are the negotiations going? It doesn't hold back. No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear or... We override the detonation code. 
You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down, I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. <laughs> Got it. <clears throat> I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. God. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father... He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today, but now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not going to lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where did you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol, too, but I chose this. Huh. So I got a leftover, huh? Mm-hmm. Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. That's unnecessary if we're gonna go reloading. To the north, we'll have it? to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. Oh, nice. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Someone needs to let him know, by the way. You're allowed to be in the army and be a soldier and wear makeup. Okay, if let's you go. Want. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. Right. Let's go. There's not any in these. Hey, I was just gonna say there's not in these toilets, is there? And bang, there's a ration. I was in serious need of rations. That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? Yeah, I mean, Jesus Christ, like they could have put hair in it, hair in a different color on the map, by the way. See, given that, you know, she appears on the map the same as <laughs> enemies do. Um, yeah, Jesus, I mean... Oh yeah, I mean, the, yeah, the 90s were, were a different time. <laughs> um, that is, you know, some of the dialogue there. I don't oh, think there's anything massively wrong What's with wrong? a lot of it. Um, don't come here, Snake! But, um... It'd never get through. Um, Are you okay? Uh, <laughs> through in today's games. Uh, what happened? I'm fine. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Um, yeah, and, um... You caught Snake? Um, yeah, well, that's what I was saying. Like, if this is how, um, I've got it. Every time I, I've saved it, I've, uh... 
I've, I've d done a new save game. Maybe. Nope. Did not want to kill people. I, I didn't realize she was going to say something new. That's when I heard that the US Air Force needed people to do BDAs, battle damage assessments. Those are the guys whose job it is to confirm how successful a bombing run was. Yeah, so I started to do research into aerial photography and air intelligence and made it my major. But there are no pilots who only do BDAs. That's right. But by the time I learned that I was already an expert, I was already an expert. Oh, damn it. No, I didn't want to talk to you again. What's up, sir? It's the, that is the difference between what button is cancel and what button is, not, is like, yes. Um, I, I should have something else out, I think. <laughs> what the hell is that about this? Oh. What's going on? <laughs> oh. Hold me, snake. What's wrong? I think I just recognized. Hang on, let me just take a call. Snake, Meryl's not herself. Don't use your weapon. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. That tune is his mind control music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. Well, I have I've been spoiled. I've been spoiled with this one. I hope that's not your only trick. I never know what to call you, by the way, because you don't have a username that's easy to pronounce. Feel free to let me know if you. I will show you why I am the most powerful practitioner of psychokinesis and telepathy in the world. No, there's no need for words, Snake. I'm Psychomantis! That's right. This is no trick. It's true power. Huh. It's useless, I told you. I can read your every thought. Oh, fair enough, Sam. But yeah, like, I have been uh, spoiled with the trick first. By the way, however, you are skillful at eluding traps. Still don't believe me. Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. I can see into your mind. You like Castlevania, don't you? Claudio would have been like, yes, how do you know? Oh, he's looking at my memory card, isn't he? I think. He's looking at my memory card, because that's the only thing I've got on my memory card. I am stuck. Okay, uh, I, I thought the game had like crashed or something there. Um. Wait, where, where are you? Jesus, stay away from the floating couches. Yeah, that's genius. I mean, like stuff like this would have been absolutely mind-blowing, wouldn't it? 
Like, it's a shame that I kind of... Uh, you know, it's a shame that I, there's certain things that, you know, it's like... There's certain iconic games where it's kind of avoidable, unavoidable. Like, sadly, not many people are ever going to get to play Final Fantasy VII now. Like, spoiler free. Um, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, going into this uh, as a kind of like knowing nothing about it would be crazy. On GameCube, he says along the lines of you've been playing Mario Sunshine. Oh, nice. And that would be, that would be what I've been playing. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Even in 99 or whatever, I knew, I knew the plot before I played it. Oh, really? Oh, man. Jeez. What was it that triggered the... Um... What was it that triggered the... I don't know, maybe it was just the passage of time, was it? Or... There was meant to be a black saying in the video, that's why it was... Snake. Oh, do you like... Okay. Right. What are they going to say? Snake. No. Oh no, this is where he's saying don't don't hurt her, please. Well, don't shoot her, just punch her punch her a bit. Black oh black screen. Okay. Sorry, metal. I mean now would be my chance okay. I was gonna say now would be my chance to punch the boss. Well it's ignoring me. I mean, you've got to, I guess you've got to, you know, you got to give him credit for that. Like. Ah, that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that is what you guys are talking about. God, that would have been, that would have been a bit scary as a kid, I reckon. Just, just, just like thinking it, thinking it cut off or something. I'm wondering if I can punch him. I know, obviously, I know the trick, but I'm just wondering what's the way to do it without the trick. Then I, I know it's possible to do it without the trick. But I suspect I'm going to be using the trick soon. <laughs> okay, can't. Maybe I could stun him. Hey, come on, He's, he shouldn't be unstunnable. Surely not. They're very generous with the, the drops and stuff in this, aren't they? It's like, like, if you need something, they give you it, basically. So it's like, it's almost like... Oh, I hit him! Just the once. I mean, <laughs> this is not a method of... This is the first time I've actually ever used this gun, by the way. Like, without just kind of met. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, this. I, I'm not. Obviously, I, I, I'm fully expecting to die, and I almost want them to die, to be honest, because of how much ammo of this I've used. Yeah, he likes to run in. No! Grenades where? He didn't dodge the grenade. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean... <laughs> it's also not as effective because it's just like, you know... 25 years on and it, it's kind of like... You know... I don't know, like... I guess we were easily we, we were it was easier to fool us back then. Now, it, like whatever happens, I just what anything that happened in the game, I'll be like, yeah, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. That's probably some silly trick. Don't come here, Snake. Oh, crap, I didn't. Are you okay? Oh, hang on. Come on, Mr. Right, right. Give me two seconds, guys, because obviously I'm gonna have to do something that is hopefully gonna work. Fingers crossed. I have not messed up. That's a that's a lie. <laughs> do do. Okay. TVs don't have an input like that anymore? No, they do. <laughs> that music when it loads is really nice. Memory card one. Right, where are we? Three, three thirty-four. Disc one. Oh, it's a two-disc game, isn't it? By the way, we were like read the mission log. What is that? Ooh, I like this. This is cool. After meeting up with Meryl, Snake gets the de gets the detonation code emergency gets the detonation code emergency override key from her. However, she only had one of the three keys. To stop the nuclear attack, one must deactivate the detonation code or destroy Metal Gear itself. Maintenance bait. Mainten what? That's like, it looks like it started the sentence in the middle of nowhere. Maintenance base where Metal Gear is being stored. Uh, that's a really nice touch. Just the most popular stuff like Castlevania. Yeah, well, yeah, I suppose it's not going to be like, you know, oh, you're playing Bubsy 3D or whatever. But yeah, it, uh, I guess they just hope you've got one of the big hitters on your, uh, on your memory card. For the heart of memory. Well, <laughs> they didn't know that I was like, you know, um, I was going to reload it two minutes later. I mean, if I had stopped playing this for two or three days, I might need the recap. Right, have we got any... Oh, okay, the rations and stuff don't appear yet. Oh, is it only Konami games? Oh no, you said they do Final Fantasy. Right, this should work. Fingers crossed. I actually don't know what I like. I've never actually seen the boss play out. I just, I've just heard the kind of trick. So I don't know if it's going to be a case of... Suddenly now I can shoot them and I... I don't know what... Because obviously they were dodging all my attacks before. Presumably they won't. Get vibration turned on, he'd tell you to put the controller on the floor and move it with his mind. Oh wow. Now let me read your mind. No. Perhaps I should say your past. I'm not careless. Got it. Okay, so this is the black. This should be the black screen, I guess. And then we're gonna do this. Let's see. Where's he gone? Okay, we got. Okay, it's still not like. It's not like it's turned it from impossible into a joke. It's turned it from impossible into, you know, I'm still doing quite a small amount of damage. 
Actually, do you know what? I'm gonna chuck a grenade at you. Why did that not work? Why? What? Not having that. That should blatantly have hurt them. Damn it. Where the hell have you? Oh, there you are. Also, it feels like in this, I mean, I'm. It feels like you might as well use the handgun, to be honest, because. It seems like you can only ever. Hit you can only ever hit them kind of once before they get stunned and then you have to you know like you're only allowed to hit them once before they get stunned so you might as well just hit them with the hand and it seems to do the same amount of damage whatever you've got equipped um, so it seems like you might as well just hit them with this because it's no different from a machine gun. Whoa! Damn it. That's crap. Just wasted a lot of ammo there. Whoa! Look at these statues come at me now. Whoa! Any uh, rations laying around by any chance? Oh, I've got one in my inventory still. It's still probably the hardest or second hardest boss in the game, just because of the low health at this point. God. <laughs> nice to know. But if we can get him out of the way, then it'll be a success. But yeah, that's what we're saying. Oh, sorry, Meryl. Hang on, what? What? Get out the way, metal. I'm gonna fight the boss here. Oh God, is she back up again? I assume I've just got a puncher. Oh, oh no, I'm very low on health. Okay, she's knocked out again. Oh, yeah. Finish him. Where are you? Oh, I'm gonna die here. I'm out of. I am out of. Um, I never knew. I still haven't found out what that disc was for. Ah! Still haven't found out what that disc was for. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, so even with even with the, the kind of knowledge of the cheat, it's uh not super easy. Do, 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 do. Not that I, I'm not happy that like it doesn't seem like um whatever the button is on the controller. You can only read your mind by the yeah yeah, right by the first port. Yeah, I'm not happy that the it, it seems stupid that the like grenades and everything don't work. Like, I don't get that. Grenades, should talk, but then it seems like with all the bosses so far, it seems like they've really kind of limited how much damage you're allowed to do to them. Um, so I bet you, even if I could hit them with a grenade, it would probably still do the same amount of damage as like one bullet would or whatever. Yeah, yeah, we didn't know if we were going to reach this guy. I, I asked on the Discord earlier if I... Because I, I knew this guy was going to be a pain. Um, or just a pain in terms of, like, setup for the emulator and stuff. Um, and so I didn't know if I was going to reach him tonight. And I asked, and people were undecided whether I would reach him or not. And we have, so I must be making good time.
puzzle boss to discuss. <laughs> what about him? I'm not complaining. Oh man, I, I am so bad at dodging these bloody furniture. Have I really only got two bullets left of this? There must be some in the corner or something. I was using this like for quite a bit of the fight last time. Ah, there we go. Oh, get lost! This is absolutely mental! So much stuff to dodge. And half the time you can't even like see it. So, you know, it's like it's not on the screen. Until until it's in your face. Um, I didn't think you get this far tonight, and to be fair, is around right around the end of the stream. Two and three. So you consider playing the rest of the series? Yeah, I mean, if I like them, which which I have so far. I mean, I, like, I, I wouldn't consider playing... <laughs> like, I, I'm not going to lie, I'm probably not going to consider playing 4 and 5. Um, from what I know of them. Like, I mean, I'm that's what I was going to say. Like, this is supposed to be like... You know, people say like, oh, you know... Oh, God damn it. What happened to auto Amy? It's gone. Um. Man. Um. Yeah, I, I just heard the the amount of um, cutscenes in four and five are mental. I mean, I yeah, that's what I'm saying. I thought that this was supposed to be like you know, by far the least cutscenes of them all. And maybe it is. But if it is, Jesus, how crazy are the other ones? Because, um... Ah! Oh, now they were coming back. Yeah, because I'd say, you know, we've streamed four hours tonight. I would predict that probably two hours of that was cut was cutscene and dialogue of the four hours. Which is quite a lot. Um... Get into four, find it awful. Uh, I have got to punch you. I'm never gonna do this. I've got no, I've got no, um, what's it called? No rations left, so I'm basically gonna have to do like a, a no hit run from this point on. Um, yeah, and I did hear, is it four or five? Like, I, I know this sounds silly, but while some people say it sounds silly, I don't think it is. Um, a silly opinion from me. But, I heard someone say that, um, oh, sorry, Meryl, I was supposed to just punch you, not shoot you. Your uncle will not be happy. Um, yeah, I think everyone, I th from what I've heard at least, I think everyone feels that way. I think 4 seems to be the most unpopular, from what I've heard. Oh, come on. Focus. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I heard that, um, and this, in, I'm not even joking. Instantly, make, uh, instantly made me say no. I'm not playing the game. Um, that I can't remember if it's four or five that you complete the game 
And then when you like beat the final boss or whatever, you've completed the game, there is a two hour long cutscene. Ah, no way am I ever doing that. Like, that's just that. Like, I think you, there's no other way to describe that other than Kojima going oh, crazy. Oh, it hurts. Like, to Are think okay? that regular people on, have got I oh, just want to do that. I, I'm not. <laughs> That, that that sounds offensive to like say like to, to people who maybe enjoy it. I'm not saying you're not regular people, but your average regular casual gamer does not want to complete a game and then sit there for that length of time watching the fact. And if you don't watch it, you what you do like it's like say you complete the game and then you're like planning to go to bed or whatever. It's like no, you've got to watch a film before bed now. Um, and then you can't turn it off because if you do, you're gonna to have to complete the game again because you won't have saved it. And it's, uh, it's just, it's like so not user friendly. <clears throat> and unskippable as well. Ridiculous. Even, they're even skippable in this. How have they gone backwards from? From being skippable in the PS1 days to not skippable in well I don't even know if it was PS3 or PS4. Do, 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 do. Oh hang on. You're gonna give me some info. I've got it. Use the controller port. Plug your controller into controller port two. If you do that, he won't be able to read your mind. Yeah, that's a great tip. It's not helping me uh, win, though. Right, so the, the trick is to run around in circles. The trick is to run around in circles. Why did that not hurt me? There we go. Um, the trick is to run around in circles near the middle so that I can kind of see I can basically see his spawn points man there we go ah you should be able to do more damage I don't get it it's, it's... It's infuriating that he gets, like, invincibility frames as soon as you do the slightest bit of damage. I mean, even if it's one hour long, though, that is still a hell of a long... I mean, I, I remember finishing Final Fantasy IX, and it was like... That had, like, a 20-minute out, like, ending, and I thought that was bordering on... A bit too long. I mean, it was just about within the limits of acceptable, but it was, you know, twenty. It was twenty minutes. It was about twenty minutes. Final Fantasy Nine. I, I did think it was close um, to being unacceptable. Jesus, I'm trying to get some bullets, and I've been attacked by a. Sh oh, getting battered by a bloody. Oh. This is, you ain't, Sam wasn't kidding when you said that, well, I hope you ain't kidding when you said that this was one of the hardest bosses in the game. Yeah, I really hope you ain't kidding because I, I don't, I don't want it to get much harder than this. Oh, I'm sure there are lots of people who have finished. You know, I don't doubt that there's lots of people who have finished it. But it's not like a... Ugh, it's not... I, I, I don't know. I don't feel like it's a very user-friendly experience. Nowadays, people love... 
you know, people love the ability to kind of like just save anywhere. People don't even like, you know, it's it's seen as like a pretty old school thing, like you know, in old Final Fantasies. And, and, and obviously there's loads of other games. World Final Fantasies where it's like, oh, you can only save it at a save point. That's seen as like really old fashioned now. People want to be able to save it anytime they want because they want to be able to turn, turn the game off whenever they want because they have, you know, lives to, you know, kids, blah, blah, blah. Um, but, um... Yeah, so people want, like, maximum convenience, and that is, like, very much the opposite end of being able to save when you want. Well, I have got what I feel like this, if I focus, and I'm gonna, this is gonna be the one, because, I, well, I was just gonna say I've got one ration left. Aha, I did have it. It's gone now. There we go. Oh, oh come on! It was like a bloody homing missile. Oh, I think I got a shot in there, I think. I can't do enough damage! That's what I can't do. Oh. No! It's, it's gone. Look at his health bar, man. Right at the end. I had that under control, and then right at the end, he just went bloody mental and started throwing all kinds of stuff around. Do, 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 do. I mean, to be honest, the, the, like, th that's what I say, though. I can't even imagine what your, what your guy's opinion is of, of, of the, uh, you know, of the game going too far when it comes to cutscenes, because so far, as I say, so far, this game has been about 50% cutscenes. I'm not complaining, the game's been good. But so far, this has been about 50% cutscenes. So if you don't think 50% is too far, what the hell are the other, well, you know, what the hell is for? Like, is it like 75% cutscene? Is there any game? Okay, you're gonna do an owl. I'm not even, I'm not actually sure what that means, but we're about to find out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, th yeah, I I I've I've assumed that I would, and and to be honest, I've seen I've seen it a bit more like it's isn't it more like actiony about that ratio? Yes, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, like just you. release the film. Why doesn't Kojima just go into films? Is he has he done any films? He clearly likes that genre. Why doesn't he just why doesn't he just make films? And then and then he could do all these crazy ideas. Because you can you can do anything in film. Well I mean you can do anything in games or films. Right, I am gonna be. I'm gonna try to be more careful. Because what usually happens in my my attempts is I I'm a bit carefree at the start, and then I start being careful as I get close to the end. And then by you know by that and then by that point it's kind of it may already be too late because I've already taken too much damage. So I'm going to try and be sensible right from the beginning. Ah! Oh crap! Whoa!
Ah, oh, Jesus. Um, eighty percent of forest cutscenes. Yeah, I mean that's what I say. If two and three are similar to this, then then at least there's a chance I'd like them. Where the hell are you? Got to switch over to my Russians. Oh. This has been a proper trial. This is. Go away. These are the ones I hate. They're so fast moving. Ah. Uh. So, do the um, do the supplies around the room um, act top up? They do, don't they? I think. Like, I'm oh, get off. I was thinking that they were just kind of like, you know, there was one load of supplies and that's it for the fight. But it seems like as time passes, they refill. Who's more James Bond than even this game? It's three's your favourite, isn't it, Obi? More of an open world kind of deal? Oh god, you're trying to put me off, Ace. <laughs> Stop, Meryl. Where is she? Boom, there we go. We're on to the final phase. Well, I assume it's the final. No, it must be the final phase. I was going to say, uh, assuming there's no more phases afterwards, but I've got him down to like 1% health or something stupid, so I don't think he's got any more phases in the bank. This has got... If I, if I don't kill him this attempt, I'm never killing him, because this has been about as perfect as I can do. Still got a ration. But I'm not gonna rely on that. I'm gonna kind of I'm almost gonna pretend it's not there and try and kill him with what the help I've got right now. Really nice. Ah. Right, he's got left. Oh this he's gone crazy. He's doing his crazy thing. Oh, I did it, I did it, but I did need to use my ration, and I still only just about did it. Oh, oh, no worries, Alex. Good night, dude. I'm just going to watch Colonel, whatever cutscenes come to and then okay. end it there anyway. Because it has 215 on Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake, or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. So, yeah, definitely, Kathagon. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise I, me, Sam. I wasn't able to read the future. A strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. Ooh. I have so, but I will read your future. To get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance space, you have to go through that hidden door. Behind the bookcase. The overland route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Go past the communication towers. And use the tower's walkway. 
Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the past, presents, and futures of thousands upon thousands of men and women. Oh, gross. And each mind that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish and at the I can definitely see what you mean, Captain. To pass on one seed. It was enough to make me sick. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on that DNA. We designed that way. And that's why there is war. But you... You are different. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into Don't this world, space. we're fated to bring each other nothing. I mean, but no pain one's much of a looker misery. in this game, but. <laughs> the first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. Everyone's a bit I saw nothing but this, disgust but and hatred for me land. in his heart. My mother died in childbirth. And he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> we oh, are wow. truly the no, same, no. you and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just wanted an excuse to kill as many people as I could. Jesus. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen through evil. You, Snake. You're just like the boss. No, you're worse. Hmm. Compared to you, I'm not so bad. I read her mind as well. Merrill's? I saw you there. You have a large place in your heart. A large place? Hmm. Yes, a large place. But I do not know if your futures lie together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind before I die. I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. <laughs> that was pretty tragic, that to be honest. I'll open the door for you. If you want to find your future, go through that door. This is the first time I've ever used my power to help someone. It's strange. It feels... kind of... Wow, that was not how I expected this uh, encounter to end. Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl? How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're gonna doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. 
You're right. Never doubt yourself. Just let it make you stronger. Learn something from it. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? What? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering. What? What's the problem now? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, nothing. So, tell me, Snake. What's your name? Your real name? A name means nothing on the battlefield. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. <laughs> Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. It's like a big, massive, walking like? cliche. I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone. Just like Mantis said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Yeah, he definitely sounds like Batman. Let's go. Oh no, don't go all bloody... I'm glad my health's been topped up. Don't be going all bloody um, Resident Evil 4 on me and giving Meryl a health bar and saying that I've got to protect her. She can get out. She can go in the same place Ashley goes, in the bin. Right, I will make a little visit to Mei Ling to save it. But yeah, what I was trying to say anyway the earlier. Of dying men enforce attention like deep harmony. Snake, people don't normally lie with their dying breath. I think he was telling the truth. Maybe you should believe him. Yeah, um... The thing I was trying to say earlier was that, like, I think people kind of get sick of... Please, Nick, don't um, give up. You know, like, games trying to be like movies. And I can kind of understand it because... I, it's maybe not so much right now, but, like, maybe five years ago or whatever, we were going through a, a big phase of... Um, of games that were like that, and every game was like a movie, and like The Last of Us and blah, blah, blah. And I think the big difference, because um, I've been really enjoying The Last of Us, um, and I think the big difference between like The Last of Us and a lot of other ones like that um, is that a lot of them, a lot of these like game movies, are like they're like B movies. They're like you know, like so. It's it's so. I I just don't think they're as good because I don't know that like they're just not put together as well. The dialogue's usually crap. The voice acting's crap. You know, so it's just you can't get as immersed. I think one of the things that makes The Last of Us so good is that the the dialogue is really good and the voice acting's really good and the act you know just. The acting's good, um, and so we like there are loads of um, these movie films. But the, uh, I guess the reason why I, or at least me, the reason why I can't get immersed in a lot of them is because usually the, you know, the voice like if if the voice acting's terrible and the dialogue's crap, then you just can't get properly into it. I don't think, um, and that's one thing that The Last of Us does very well. That like you know. A lot of these kind of games are like, you know, crappy low budget films. The Last of Us is like a Hollywood film. Like, you know, it's like a proper, you know, you, it is like a proper film. Um, whether whether you want that or not is another matter, I guess. Um, yeah, I can't think of, I can't think of any PS1 games at voice acting. Unless you count, like, I don't know. Like the tiny bits that are in like Symphony of the Night or whatever, and that's like you know, sounds. I mean, it was it was nice, but it sounds like you know, I don't know, someone talking while they've got their head down a toilet or something. It's like, it's like the most muffled, terrible thing ever. Cheers, Catagon. We'll be back Friday night with more of this. Um, I don't think we're gonna beat it Friday, but we'll probably beat it the one after. Um, yeah, I had loads of fun. Gonna wrap it up here. I'm gonna. I did save it. I did. I'm sure. Um, I'm gonna save it again just in case. Um, <laughs> no, I did. I did. I did. I'm, I'm, it's fine. Um, what is it, Snake? 
No, no, no. But well, this gets the pass a because it's revolutionary. But the the, the kind of point I was bringing up is that this has got really good voice acting and whatever, and I think it's just a bit more. You said that you wanted to become a pilot. This has got better voice acting than almost any modern game I can think of. Usually, usually, I I mean, and I think that's why you don't like voice acting that much in games. I would say. Voice acting in games is crap a lot more than it's good. Usually it's rubbish. I mean, it's not that big a deal if you're not like... Like, I don't mind if it's... Cr like, I don't mind if voice acting is crap in Mario, because I'm not trying to get immersed in some great story or whatever. Um, so it doesn't matter. But generally, voice acting is pretty bad in games, I would say. I would say that, you know, the standard between a top, top movie and the, like a Hollywood movie versus, you know, a game is just they're in a completely different universe. Um, so I think when people try to say try to say like, oh well, films are try games are trying to replicate films, it's like well they are, but they're doing a, most of them are doing a very bad job of it. So that's why they're not, you know, if you're gonna try and replicate a film, then you better be pretty good at. It. Anyway, yep, <laughs> I'm gonna head out. It is 2.30 a.m. We have killed the Psychic Mantis. Um, I'm gonna head to bed. Have a good night, guys, and I'll see you on Friday. Um, by the way, Final Fantasy V is the video for tomorrow. But yeah, I'll see you on Friday for some more of this Metal Gear Solid. See you later.